Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Peapot and Papa and Savitri and Pack. Good afternoon, Ten Mad Maggie and True Crime. Pardon me. Good afternoon, Yumino, Punisher, Rivless, Chloe. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. I hope you're all doing well, and thank you very much for joining me. Post Beach team, that's right. I went to the beach, beach. I went and got away. The bay, well, it wasn't a bay. It was mostly beaches. But anyway, went up to the Sunshine Coast, had a fabulous time, definitely applied enough sunscreen, apparently. Uh, <laughs> SPF 50, we don't know her. I'm quite burnt today. Um, hi, quite burnt today. I'm Zach. Hey -o. Um, Yeah, I, have, I had a fabulous morning. I went and, like, swam in the ocean for the first time in, like, at least a decade. It's been a good decade since I swam in the ocean. That felt really good. It felt really good. It felt really good to be confident and comfortable enough with myself to be able to, like, take my shirt off and swim in a beach without feeling entirely self-conscious, but this is enough about me. Um, swam in the beach, went around the rock pools. What did we see today? We saw herons. We saw seahawks. We saw crabs of some description. Kookaburras. Lots of willy wagtails and minor birds. Nature, it's beautiful. Um, it was a fabulous day in Brisbane. Literally not a, well, yeah, Southeast Queensland. Literally not a cloud in the sky. I had a really good time. But none of you are here for that. Uh, <laughs> and I appreciate those of you who are interested on it, obviously. But yeah, that explains the sunburn. I definitely wore sunglasses and a hat and sunscreen and found shade. But apparently the UV and index was extreme today. So m apologies that I will be looking a little bit, a little bit um, on the lobstery side today. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, <coughs> pardon me. Rosie, thank you for being here for three months. Rosie says, hello, you sun-kissed beauty. <laughs> Hope the beach was fun. The beach was so much fun, Rosie. It was fabulous. Fabulous. And yeah, legitimately a long time since I'd been in the ocean. So it was wonderful. Danielle, thank you very much for the super chat. Danielle says, yay, been waiting for this, working on a new Lord of the Rings cross stitch now. Oh, nice. Good luck, Danielle. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that one. And Miss Merritt, thank you for eight months. Miss Merritt said, ah, hello, finally called the live stream when it's alive. Hello. I know, I'm inconsistent with my timings, but that's just, uh, that's just, <laughs> that's just what it is. Um, anyway, we're going to catch up with Foodie today. Hi, we're actually getting to the reactions. Apologies for the, the, the lengthy, um, intro. Uh, we're going to be reacting to a couple of things today because I just switched off from Foodie World and enjoyed my, my beach getaway, um, as short as it was. So we've got a lot to catch up on. We've got an, a nine minute produced video entitled Trying to Leave a Toxic Relationship. We've got three hours of making dinner with Shakespeare hairdo. All right. Um, and then we got Beeson. Beeson is the most recent live, which we'll probably spend the most time on. Uh, making dinner. I've got a couple of notes like to start off with, but we'll skip ahead. I'm just trying to get context for today because Foodie's narrative changes at the drop of a hat and one day, whew, everything can, everything can happen. Um, I don't even, I haven't even had a chance to check community posts. Like, I don't, I don't know. Are there any? Who knows? No, just the invitation to invite her to Facebook and absolutely not. Again, my approach, hands off. Hands off, two different realities, absolutely not. Vicky, lovely to see you, Vicky. Thank you very much for the super chat. Vicky says, congratulations on being comfortable at the beach. That's a big accomplishment. It really was a big accomplishment, Vicky. Thank you very much for the super chat and the kind words. It felt it felt real good. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it made me want to go out and just be comfortable doing whatever the hell I want. You know? Really powerful moment. Thank you very much for the super chat. Um, so yeah, uh, we should probably get into it because it's like... <laughs> It's just hours of content to cover. Hours. Hours. So, we're going to get into it. Um, rude disclaimers from the top. Hi, my name's Zach. Lovely to meet you if you're new, and thank you very much for coming back if you are returning. I'm not a mental or physical healthcare professional, just a guy who lost some weight and talks about things on the internet. Also, not here to bully, shame, hate, harass, or humiliate. Literally here to talk about the produced and monetized content that we see here on this platform. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Remember, everybody, is a choice. It is a choice to turn the camera on. It is a choice to the words that are coming out of everybody's mouth. These are all choices, as the iconic Tatiana would say. Anyway, let's get into YouTube. Um, trying to leave a toxic relationship. I do find this curious. Okay, starting point. I do find this one curious because it was recorded. It, Like, this is today, though, right? Right? I'm going to be leaning on you guys' chat and apologies for the 
required assistance, but I might need some clarification as to what's happened in in today. Um, this is the same day. Why? Why? Why would you? Why would you bother? Why would you? Why? Why bother? You're so used to going live. Why didn't you just tack this onto the front of a live? This I I don't know. I think is this clickbaity trying to leave a toxic relationship? Maybe it is clickbaity. Like maybe she's. It's only nine minutes of content. She's not running mid rolls, so it's just like I I don't know. I don't know. We'll go over it though. Punisher, thank you very much for three months, mate. Punisher says, be prepared for the victim mentality, Zach. Oh, I'm ready, Punisher. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm going to attempt to bring some form of reason and sensibility <laughs> to today's content. I doubt that's going to go down well. Also, if you hear anything in the background, my lovely um, housemate, Good Pete, is making chocolate cheesecake. So, good for him. <laughs> But he says hi to everyone. Um, all right. Well, we're going to get... I mean, I guess we're going to get straight into this toxic relationship, right? Right. Kenzie, thank you very much for being here. And thank you for snooting the boot. And for the reminder. It's lovely to see you, by the way. Um, thank you for the reminder. Team, thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon, my time, or this morning, your time, or whatever time, whatever part of the planet you are. If you'd like to hit the like button, I'd very much appreciate that. Oh, goodness. Super chats. Agoda, thank you very much for the super chat. Agoda says, having you to listen to on a working Saturday is a delight. Thank you for coming live. It is my pleasure, Agoda, and I hope your Saturday goes well. Thank you very much for the super chat and enjoy your work. Heidi, good to see you. Heidi, thank you for the super chat. Heidi says, hi, Poppy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Heidi says, Lizzie says, hi. Bitsy went for Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> when can we meet good Pete's? Also, I'm sad we lost a patient at work today. This will help. Oh, Heidi, thank you very much for the super chat. And I'm here to be a distraction, absolutely. I hope you're taking care of yourself. And thank you very much for the for the super chat. Um, I go to welcome back to Popster as well. Okay, rude reminders. Rosie, rude reminders are done. We're, <laughs> we gotta get into this. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be hanging out here all day. Ooh. Hi, guys. I know. Okay, stop. Rewind. Speed it up. Get prepared, professional YouTuber. Let's go 1.25, because it's only nine minutes. Hi, guys. I know it's been so long since I've done a video, recorded no, video. No, we're speeding up. <laughs> we are speeding up. Right. This is weird. Um, it's not going to be a long video, actually. Okay. I just want to update you guys. I know a lot of you have been worried about me, and rightfully so. She was gone for a day. It was just a day, right? It was, was it just, was it more than a day? It was just, it was just a day. It was just a day, and she wasn't even gone for a day, because she was on a community tab post being like, look, here's a photo of me as a kid. Look, here's a photo of my cat. Look, pay attention to me. I need validation. Talk to me on Facebook. Oh, oh, bleh. Go live your life, mates. Just step off the platform. I have given you lots of reasons to worry over and over and um, I'm not okay. Is today any different? Is today, is, is today any different? It, it, did today bring any reason to light to say that her audience shouldn't be concerned for like all of the poor decision making that she's been continuously part of? No. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not okay. I'm working on it. Uh, I just wanted to, I guess, talk a bit about the elephant in the room. I'm still going through everything and uh -huh. still processing the past six months uh -huh. and, uh, you know, just grieving two deaths. We have heard this before. We have heard this before. We have heard this, like, every week for the last month. <laughs> we have heard... See, actually, maybe not for the last month. Since Timbit passed. Timbit, sorry. Since Timbit passed, we have heard this... We have heard this a lot. We don't need to hear it anymore. My grandmother and um, our cat, Timbit, and I haven't allowed myself to do that. Um, I've always lived my life very publicly... I have always lived my life very publicly. Maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't. And open and... Uh-huh. Open. Very open. Definitely not filled with lies. Very public and very honest, you guys. Totally. I've done that recently with this relationship. I've been in a um, very toxic relationship. And oh. <laughs> I won't go into everything that happened in this relationship except we all know because you do on live streams militia thank you for drawing attention to it my hands are, are not all that yellow <laughs> it's just my undertones shine through on my hands and compared to like my my pasty pasty white everything else and then my sunburn it all looks very <laughs> chaotic <laughs> there's been a lot of hurt um, lot i'm of i'm fine it's just my skin tone a lot of inequality i've done 
hours of live streams crying about yeah. things and just being yeah. a mess. So I'm sure you've all seen those. If not, they're, they're there to watch. So I can't bring myself to watch them, so I don't know how you guys can, but you do. I just also... She has said that multiple times as well. I don't know how you guys could sit down and watch at my live streams. It's like, mate, well, maybe you should. <laughs> I know she's not a real big fan of self-reflection, introspection, any of that, but maybe she should actually sit down and watch some of her more problematic live streams. Maybe she should. I want you to know really, really sincerely that I appreciate all the support. Do you? I don't always show it. No, um, you don't. I do let my anger get the best of me a lot of the time. I'm yeah. a very impulsive person. I've lived yeah. my pretty much my whole life just acting based on how I'm feeling. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Impulsivity is one of those character elements that I personally think you need to mature into controlling as opposed to being at the whim of your impulses. That might just be me. Maybe, maybe there is a philosophical perspective on living life out there, bending to the whim of your cravings and impulses. But um, for me, recognizing myself as a mature adult, I also recognize that I shouldn't bend to those whims 24-7. But go on. The time. And that has gotten me into Morning, the time in now. Right now, I'm trying to stay away. I know a lot of people don't think so, but I do have a therapist that I do talk to very Does closely. She? And they're very helpful. Are they? Um, talking to you guys, like I said, is always a great escape. I just haven't felt like going live, live lately, to be honest. Chat, please let me know how long this video was out before she went live. Because I'm pretty sure, like, it was real quick. It was, what, under an hour? Was it under an hour? I feel like it was under an hour. I've Might have been over a lot now. of backlash for myself with the whole back and forth. And Close to an hour. I know a lot of you don't get, <laughs> you know, are screaming at me. Hey, Carl. Literally in caps lock. Like, the red flag. Louise, so a good morning. Um, this is not a good relationship. And I think deep, deep down, I know that. But I'm a caring person. It feels weird complimenting myself in any way. Actually, I'm just going to say that. But I am because a big part of the reason I keep going back is because I can't stand thinking that he's struggling or not doing well or... Set. And that brings me to the point that I realized that this I can't be in a relationship with this person because it's an unequal relationship. It's very draining for me in every way, mm -hmm. um, emotionally, uh, just every way. And I just I have have to at some point ask myself, really, am I getting equally into from this relationship what I'm putting in? And the answer is no. Right. The emotional draining thing is kind of sticking with me because recognizing fully that Foodie's entire, like, business plan is based around causing drama around her life, right? Her emotion... Like, I'm, I'm not trying to minimize, like, all of the problematic relationship elements of her trying to be in some kind of relationship with Old Mate. Um, however the emotional tax that's coming about because of her continuously regurgitating all of these stories to her her audience um in a weird world you may consider that like work because it's part of her job um and that's wild <laughs> oh god that's ill he thinks it is but i oh. don't know if he really believes that Lottie, thank you for coming in with the numbers. Lottie says, it was 73 minutes between the end of this video and the start of the next live stream. I was close then. Good. If he does, then <laughs> that's even more proof that I I can't be with somebody that lacks that level of self-awareness. And I lack my own self-awareness and I have so much work to do on myself that taking care of the emotional, every just everything needs completely emotional, financial, everything of a person has just been so hard on me. And why are you doing it? You don't owe this man anything. You don't. Why are you doing it? This is bonkers. Bonkers bananas. At, look, whenever these talking points come up, it truly makes me realize that like that is a that is a moment of clarity, right? That is you you're reflecting on your life saying, I can't do this anymore. This is too hard. I'm not getting out of the relationship what I want. I supply everything to this person and I don't, like, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm not happy is the short form paraphrase of everything that's being said here. I am not happy with this person. Then why the fuck do you keep going back? You're not even in a relationship. A, a, 
you you are not dating, <laughs> right? You are not you are not married. You 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 have no one dependent on you. He has like the story she tells. I'm doing a lot with my hands. The story that she's telling is that he's reliant on her, and she needs to be the savior, and she needs to fix him. And I called it, and I hate it. But miss, you don't owe this man anything. If anything, he owes you quite a bit. So like, cut the cord, walk away know when it should be done. Because it should have been done, like, after that first week. But we're six months into this. And just him being so upset if I need an extra few hours. Like, I just realized that a part of me really, really wants to just run back and be comforted by the same person who hurt me over and over. That's a big talking point. And it's a hard talking point to, like, directly speak to because, again, I feel as if a lot of... I don't know. I'm not a professional and I'm very privileged that I haven't been in the same position that Foodie has in this regard to the relationship. But it is a stark thing for an audience to come... Like, to be confronted with. For the content creator to have told us so many stories about Old Mate and the hardships that he is presenting to Chantel... Her crying on camera, her saying it's a toxic relationship, her wanting to escape, like she says it so many times, but to continuously say, my issue is that I I want to go back to him. And it's like, miss, that is the clearest statement you have made for so long. So long. Can you just grab onto that and stop going back? Stop going back. He's not in her life. He can't drive. They don't live together. There is zero reason for her to need to go back to his place. But she does it every other day. I don't get it. I don't get this. She puts herself in the car. Like, he's he's not... He's not confront... Like, he's not walking into her life. She is voluntarily putting herself into this position every... Every day. Every day. I don't get it. Phil, thank you for 10 months. Phil says, Cheers, y'all babysitting my friends tonight. Oh, hey, Phil. <laughs> I hope you have a fabulous evening of babysitting and you enjoy the stream. Bunny, and hello. I'm relying on the maybe 13% of self-worth and love I have for myself. Well, that's to... the thing, Punisher as well. Punisher says her title is toxic relationship or whatever. And I saw him say, we are not in a relationship. She herself this week has told us, she has clarified that, oh no, we're in a relationship because, you know, any commun any connection between two people is a relationship. Again, she's playing with that goddamn verbiage particulars and it's ridiculous. Um, but she hasn't actually been in a relationship with this person for a while. We have had weeks. Well, I mean, since Toronto, right? We have had, at this point, weeks of we're not in a relationship. Oh, look, I bought a ring. Oh, we're going to a cabin. Oh, we've got cute photos that he's taking of me by the lake. Oh, oh, oh. All for clicks, views, and drama, and that's all it is. And that's what makes me think that's all this is. <sighs> do what's best for me. So. Hey, Angel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do. And I'm still going through it right now. I'm still struggling. I'm still... Are you? It's just... I thank you for all your kind messages and caring concern. Yeah. Having somebody like care about you, actually care about you, is actually a really big gift. And I feel like I take it for granted a lot. You take people's advice for granted a lot because you don't take any of it. Now, I'm not saying you need to take everybody's advice, but, you know, when you're on a platform acting a fool and your audience is giving you fair criticism, which you could turn into advice and you just continuously refuse to for years... That's how we get here. Peapot, thank you very much for the super chat. Peapot says, uh, Boomski, thank you for joining. Welcome to Popsis. Oh, Boomski, did I miss you? I'm so sorry. Boomski, I'm very sorry if I missed your, your joining. There it is, Boomski. Thank you very much for the super chat. I very much appreciate it. Welcome to Popster. And Peapot, thank you for the super chat. That was not at all required, but I appreciate the assist. Thank you. I know that I have to go through this short period of pain to get through it and just what short period of pain to get through this we have been on this cycle like 17 times Move on and, and you keep see putting what, yourself what in this situation because staying in a relationship that is not good for you is not it uh, this video is not to address anything any rumors any accusations or anything like that uh -huh. it's just to 
update you. That's my watch tank. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I do want to go live at some point. Maybe tonight. I'm going to see how I feel. She went live for four It's just hours. all the voices. Um, even though I love seeing you guys and I miss you guys like crazy, it's just a lot sometimes. And yeah, so. And people will ask me, what is this big hold that he has over you? And it's just like, at this point, it's just familiar. And it's just, um, there. I mean, there were a lot of good times, like, you know, Toronto and, and just as a food addict, having somebody like hey, cook for you every meal and like make it real food is just... Or just having someone make you laugh. Like, there's a lot of good things I liked. But then there was this dark side that... We, we don't need to keep saying it. So I'm going to try and ease up on the topic. But, like, the good elements that she presents of this individual and the bad do not weigh each other out. Like, at all. It's just... Hey, Indy. I could feel myself, like, just... Like, retreating and retreating myself more and more to the point where I don't want to be, like, an empty shell of myself. Just to make someone else happy and I you know I realize that like I'm making myself unhappy to make someone else happy and that's just ridiculous and uh, a lot of people will, will ask you know why are you so upset over this man who's you know it's it's so toxic and why are you so upset why do you keep going back and it's just like it's a really good question I wish I don't know how to make people understand like I don't have an off switch I don't have an off switch so even though this person is toxic for me has hurt me whatever I don't have an off switch. I can't just turn my feelings off. You know, it takes time, so. Okay, but, like, you could be a mature adult and not act on your feel. Like, I, not to say that you shouldn't act on how you feel, but in this case, you should maybe take a little bit of inventory on what your feelings are telling you versus what, oh, I don't know, reason and logic could present to your argument. She doesn't have any of that. Jen, thank you for the super chat, Jen. And good to see you, Jen says, anyone else think this is planned... And both of them are just watching the money roll in tinfoil hat deal. <sighs> Jen, it's a good question. I think that's my other... I think that's my laptop. Pardon me. Um, Jen, it is a good question. Pardon me while I turn this one off because I forgot. Um, I think it's a good question, but I just don't... I don't give them... I don't think either of them have a plan. I think that this... Like, the, the breakup talking points have been just going around in a circle for like, weeks at this point. So I don't think there's some, like, grandmaster plan. I think it's just... Because, yeah, like, here's the thing. Here's another... Like, just another reason why I don't think it's calculated, right? Foodie can sit on camera high as butts for six hours and people will watch. People will watch. We'll call it, like, boring or dull or we'll skip through it, but they'll, they'll watch. People will click into those streams. I'm not saying she should do that. But I'm just saying, it seems like a lot of effort just to present some, like, scripted nonsense. Although, then again, he's getting click-throughs as well, so maybe... I don't know. I'm still I'm still here for them sitting down and, like, presenting their truth in a, in a joined fashion. I'm, I want that, but... Um, Amanda, thank you very much for the super chat. Amanda says, do we think she's actively manipulating us in order to keep herself relevant? My opinion changes every day. Um... I honestly don't think she's... No, I don't think it's purposeful. I think that... Personally, I think that she's got a really sh shitty relationship with her audience and relies on a lot of um, motivation from, from her audience and a lot of validation from her audience, which is uh, what I think uh, continues everything that she does. So, like, relevance... I, I Personally, I think she would still be doing this even if she only had, you know, a thousand views on a video... That, that's my thought. I, I think that she just wants the attention pretty bad. That's it. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. We're done. Uh, <laughs> right. On to the next thing. So then 70-ish minutes later, we get Making Dinner with Shakespeare Hairdo. Fabulous. This one is three hours long. I have one particular talking point that I want to look at at the 30-minute mark, and then we'll play the skip game so we can get up yeah. to the current current I thought I did the hair fibers right but yes yeah. bunny I'm very sore I'm very very sore but I, I put some aloe and some moisturizer so hopefully it'll get less crispy by tomorrow oh wow hi Brooke Abby somewhat Steph Austin Gabriel hi Jay Keto Life Calissa Karen Sarah Jane Phoebe 
Call Sam. <laughs> okay, that's, Sam, I just gotta meet nice. everybody. Move, come on. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Lambo, Tracy, Sarah, L. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Uh, Missy, okay, we, turn to Hexie. I wasn't gonna, gonna say anything if you don't want me to. Hexie's very gorgeous. We're just gonna start <laughs> skipping early. Hi, oh, Angie. the one point I wanted to watch is the cooking. Let's cook with Fruity, guys. Guys, it's been a while. We're cooking. We're making dinner. Let's have a look. Let's check it out. We really are. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm just making a pasta dish. Okay. What do we see? We've got chicken. We've got onion. That chicken looks to be broiling in that pot. We Crispiness, we don't know her. Uh, and some kind of pasta. Excellent. Very good. And I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. How do you not know what you're doing? You have cooked pasta on this channel. So many times. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like eating whatever we have, like basically. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I really don't feel like eating out. I have, my stomach's been like really weird. <laughs> Every health complaint, go and see a doctor. As of late, and... Don't tell me my strainer is, like, dirty. Oh, no. Linda, I don't know... I think this is a... Okay. This go. is a family portion. So this I'm gonna is, add... This is four. I don't know, just a bunch of crap. Maybe. For seasonings. I'd, I'd um, probably get two portions Flavor God Italian crap. But I eat quite a bit. Yeah, like, okay. Uh, okay, good. Great. Cooking with foodie. We've got some Italian crap. Right. Who's writing the recipe? Who's got this down? Cajun, because why not? Okay. Italian and Cajun seasoning on chicken and onion. Uh huh. And um, garlic powder. Gotta have yep. lots of that. Right. Because I didn't use fresh garlic, so. And why is nothing fresh? <laughs> and uh, this basil was smelling really nice. So a pinch of basil. Basil, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, Italian seasoning, chicken, onion, pasta. Okay. And the pepper, salt and pepper. Yeah, India, it's a no for me. <laughs> Don't I have pepper? Don't I have pepper? I must have pepper. Oh, here it is. And black pepper. So, just like that. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm just gonna fry that up. Okay. Just oh. frying it up with some, uh, just like some onion. I have some spaghettini boiling with, uh, it's almost ready. That's a, I couldn't tell whether or not that was moisture coming from the chicken or oil or what. Um. I think it's oil. Probably <clears throat> oil and moisture. Chopped up chicken, because, I don't know, I'm gonna try to eat more chicken than ground beef, because it, um, agrees with my stomach more, let's just say. Maybe the different kind of fat in it, I don't know. Oh, Samantha, I 100% agree. I Fresh garlic, incredible. Like, garlic powder has its place, but fresh garlic all the way. Plus, it makes your kitchen smell wonderful. Who knows? Who friggin' knows? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Balsamic vinegar. Okay. I really need to friggin' stock up my place with stuff. What is this chicken? Oh, that smells good. I burn the bottom of the pan? Okay. Yeah, it's Sorry. all that sugar in the balsamic is just gonna, like, <laughs> burn, but right okay. Now, let that cook out. <laughs> and add. Not too long, I hope. Okay, this is done. What the? <laughs> add some pasta sauce, prego, gourmet. Oh, good. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Somehow, for some reason, I was thinking, yeah, great, she's adding all of these spices and herbs, and she's going to add, like, a tin or two of crushed tomato and just cook it down through the sauce, and no, we're just going jar sauce for this one. All right. Yep. It's like that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I can cook for myself. Whoa. Might want to turn that down. Just a little. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. I'll let that simmer a little bit. I think this pasta is pretty much cooked. Is it? Do you want to test it? No, okay. Concoction, not recipe. Fair, Lisa, fair. Do I have something spicy? I don't want to add spice, like, because I don't want it to be too spicy for Pete. I might add it separate. 
But I wait, what add... spice are you adding? Some. Because you missed the you missed the point where you should have added chili if you were going to add chili. But goddamn, that balsamic is really throwing me. A bit of parmesan cheese. Oh, of course. Mm. Shaky cheese. Okay, chat, don't spoil me, but does she add more shaky cheese when she serves? I think she would. I marinated the chicken in some spices and lime juice because... What the fuck? <laughs> Someone help me. Help me make this dish make sense. The chicken has been marinated in spices and lime, but then... <laughs> but then we're going to cook it with Italian spices, with Cajun spices, with garlic powder... <laughs> We're going to throw some balsamic on there, some dried basil, and then jar sauce on top. What the hell? You are not going to taste anything. This is a jumbled mess of garbage sauce. I hate it. It's, uh, it's just good that way. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook. Also, not saying this dish needs salt, but where's the salt? She had a cracked pepper and parmesan. Oh my god. <laughs> Chili would have helped as well, but oh god. Or like olives. Just something. Something. And. Oh. This is why she doesn't cook. <laughs> god damn if it isn't entertaining though. Ground turkey. Ground chicken, actually. Foodie Beauty's ground chicken. ALR is ground turkey. Thank you very much. Hi, Ronald. What? <laughs> This meal is freaking. I'm eating like whatever I have. I need to do groceries. Shannon, thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Chat for any of you who are like who are adventurous in the kitchen or just like want to try to unpack this with me. Please feel free. Like there's there's like twelve elements to what is going on in that one pan that I feel like you could remove about six of them and just make it better, right? Like you could have just cook down the like you, you didn't need to marinate the chicken i don't think but if or whatever the hell she was doing but if if you did if you did want to do that with the chicken maybe don't dump a bottle of pasta sauce on top of it while it's cooking down but though i feel like this is also a screenshot um i feel like there was just a better approach all of these ingredient ingredients deserved better is what i'm saying Less is more exactly elizabeth let the ingredients speak for themselves wonder less so, chicken so chili back and forth how Spices, Did you get lemon. Him the toxicity if you're with him all the time. Lemon, lime, sorry. Hmm? Olive oil. Wanderlust girl. Thank like she could have um, just grilled that chicken. Question. So, do you mean like? Ah, I see what you mean. So, like, you mean like I'm always with him? So yeah, like honestly, it's so chaotic all the time in my brain. Like I'm always just back and forth, like with myself. I literally to the point where. My. I'll be there, and I'll my be the cheeks are her shirt color. And then I'll come back here, and I'll be like, no, I need to go, <laughs> because I'll. It's almost like when I'm there, I don't have time to process everything that's going on. And then until I get home and it's quiet and I'm just like, okay, what just happened? And then I think of everything and I'm like, no, this this is fucking toxic. This is not good for me. You yeah, know? you come crying to your audience that it's toxic every day. Miss, we've been here a few times. You know what? Take that onion that she had in the pan. Just peel it back. Roast it. Olive oil, salt. Roasted onions, like grilled chicken with those seasonings whatever could have been great just remove the pasta entirely make an entire separate dish hi heather um her shirts are paler pink than than my face is bloody i see that <laughs> i won't show you my shoulders <laughs> mm. holly i'm so okay. sorry i'd spent too much time in the sun Let it cook a little while i put sp50 on like four Let times review my spices one last time to see if I have any that I would really like to use in this particular situation. Right, Professor Sam? The square root of an isosceles triangle. <laughs> Mr. Oh, I have beans. Fuck yeah. Dude, I have so much food. She has so much food and yet somehow we got to this garbage sauce recipe. Like for real, I have so much food. Do you? Could and you I have made better choices? There, like the majority of my food. And I still have what? shit on Okay. I'm clearly behind. Why do we have single serve, like, chip baskets in the background? These, these here. These, what is, what are, what are these for, though? What are, are, are we just not washing dishes anymore? Is that, is that what's going on? The food. I'm just a spoiled fucking brat. 17 minutes, 40 seconds. Clip, clip that all you want. Okay. Okay. I 
see how it is. Seriously. Aren't those for restaurants? Yeah, they're for like food trucks and stuff, right? Like that's what you hand out. It's not a paper plate. It's like a little basket. Um, why, why do we have them? Holly says they're from her time warp from Pulp Fiction. Oh, Holly, that memory's coming in good. Um, yeah, but why, why are they out? Tomorrow I'm gonna make fish with lemon herb sauce, rice. Fish with lemon herb sauce, rice. So far I'm on board, yep. Mm. Rewatch your lives. No, I can't. That's why I know it's not entertaining. Believe me. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> So I came home and Sam, it's not because he was hungry. because We're skipping ahead to the bit that I wanted to talk about. Here we go. Let's go. Because we've still got another live after this and I've got to play the skip game. Because I have, I do not have four hours for Take yourself a bigger hole because you don't want me to tell people why I really didn't fucking go to my therapy. Be back a bit. We have some shredded cheese, Tex-Mex, but whatever. Okay, Please. we're adding cheese to the pasta that has parmesan in it. You're like, I'm playing cheeseburgers! <sighs> I'm gonna make I'm sorry for what. I will do better for you guys in the future. I okay. I will. Sure. Cheese? Mm-hmm. Yes. Why does she hate green so much? I don't know. What's up, what's up, Marissa? She's worse than Michelle Visage. What? Who's going live? It's not true. What's not true? Ugh, this is gonna be That's see what I mean? That's okay, Rosie, I understand. No, we're not Kai. You're gonna go live and dig yourself a bigger hole because you don't want me to tell people why I really didn't fucking go to my therapy. I think she does, though. I'm in the US, I'm feeling 37. At least it isn't. Cold, at least it isn't Nashi's. Yeah, just that, look, I'm not gonna say it'd be better for her to eat out. Not at all. It would just, I just, look. As someone who had a shitty relationship with food, I understand how thankful I am that past Zach got interested in cooking because it allowed me to experiment and be like, oh, I know exactly what this is. And refinding like a different kind of appreciation for food is really important. This is just garbage though. This is this just is really trash true. food. Thanks for that information, LL, actually. Seems to be a lot of cheese. Uh, this is bullshit. Hey, baby. That's really good. <laughs> is it? Did you get any pasta or was it just... <clears throat> just a lot of cheese? And I love cheese, don't get me wrong. Too much. I know I'm the not feeling. worried, I'm just like... What? Anyway. I'm more worried about going live and fixing his reputation than mm. taking accountability. Mm -hmm. I have trouble with accountability too, actually, but actually being a YouTuber has helped me. I don't think I even knew that term before I became a YouTuber, for real. I still don't think you understand what that term is or how to like be accountable, but sure, go on. Whatever. These are just words. Sam! Where's Sabrina? Jeez. Sam is beezing. That's actually really, really good. Hi, Polybug. Oh, God. The milkshake glass has returned. Iconic. <laughs> oh, he's live. What is he saying is not true. Like, I didn't even say anything. Come here, Sam. Stop beating. Come on. I gotta play with Sam. I'm gonna tire him the fuck out. Let's take Sam for a walk after. Like, seriously. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. I think you can walk around the parking lot. You got a harness for your cat? What? That I haven't been- what's his thumbnail? That I haven't been at his house? Okay. This is what I mean, this- this fucking breaks my heart. That he actually... Has to do this, like... I, I don't think I was bad, that bad. I actually... Tried to spare his feelings. Somewhat, in my video. <laughs> the one where you called the relationship toxic even though neither of you are currently in the relationship. And you have no reason to return to being in that situation. But you continue to do it. Uh, it is curious. Mm. Do I put a leash on Sam or not? On Sam, no. I tried putting a harness on Sam once. Oh. And in like two point seconds flat, he was free. 
I don't know how, but he was. Yeah. He's an escape artist. On his English, Lottie. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, she it it stands to reason that she probably doesn't understand what the word account means in general because taxes, right? <laughs> okay, I think we're getting to the point that I recall. Uh, I was see. Good to see you, mate. I came home today. After it does. looking. <laughs> oh. It does feel fabricated, yes. I don't know why I protect him, but I just don't, I don't want any more. I don't, I don't know. It's not shady if it's true, guys. <laughs> I came home today. Why would he say I'm not there? I don't get it. Like, It feels like he's trying to like forge some kind of like story. I don't know. Oh, my heart is pounding. And here's the thing. We now have one story, two narrators, and three different versions of the truth from obviously the two narrators and then the objective truth and then potentially a fourth truth whenever Pete's, sorry, James decides to present his side of things. Um, yeah, it's all a lot. And now she's saying her heart hurts, which is mildly concerning. Hmm. She should probably go and see a doctor. Amanda, thank you very much for the super chat. Amanda says, I am not a cat person, but do cats go on walks? Yeah, sometimes. Also calling it now that there's a 0% chance a walk <laughs> is happening today. I don't think a walk happened today at all, Amanda. But I've certainly seen some cats who are trained to, like, walk on leashes. But I imagine Sam probably has no time for that and would probably feel very confused. Plain cheeseburger. He said all you do is lie. He's mad because I was supposed to go back there today. I wanted to leave, so he was sleeping, and I have to, like, sneak out, or else it's a big fucking problem. Why do you keep... This is a really simple question. Why do you keep going back to his place? Why? Like, like, just, just give me the reason why. Oh, because I have feelings for him. So, so, get, get over them. Move past them. Deal with them. Stop giving in to every fucking whim that comes across your mind. Because this is, team, she's never going to hear any of this. And it's not going to help her even if she did hear it. But if, if you, if, if you recognize yourself as an impulsive individual who potentially puts themselves in dangerous, problematic, or regretful circumstances often, <laughs> I, you're worth working on yourself, you know? You don't have to bend to every impulse, but I'm not a professional, so that's okay. Tansy, thank you for being here for eight months. Tansy says... Ted, the Discord cat mascot, walks on a harness. See, there you go. We we have a we have a Discord cat who's trained. Good to see you, Tansy. Like I told you when he took my phone, well, this time it was my car keys. Or he hid them on me, so to prevent me. Ha! Huh. So now Old Maid is someone who's going through her purse and taking things and hiding them. Oh, I could not like him less. No, I couldn't like him more. No. I don't like it. There we go. English is hard. Louisa, thank you very much for the super chat. Louisa says, she goes because food. She always drives for food. She does go because of food and she goes for attention and she goes for intimacy and she goes because she thinks she can fix the relationship and she can fix him and she can be the savior and she goes because she loves to rub it in the world's face that she got a man and, you know, there's lots of reasons why she goes, but, like, none of them, none of them make sense when you consider like one of the stories that she's told about him let alone the other 12 you know if i'm sneaking out so it was like five six in the morning okay. i wanted to go like i didn't have my machine i was like i just want to freaking leave also thank you for the super <laughs> chat louisa so i went down like snuck downstairs and everything was ready like i had my charger in my purse ready to go and i couldn't find my fucking keys and something told me to check before going to my car because I don't want to freaking go out there and be like, oh, in my car, ready to go, and, you know. So, and I was mad, but I was like, okay, I'm just playing it up. I was mad because he didn't want me to do the therapy. Like, he thought I was lying about the therapy, or every time I have therapy, there's some fucking bullshit. And he was like, you know what? Uh, anyway, he was like, um, I was like, I don't want to miss the therapy. I really need this if you care about me you will let me go. I wanted to go for a copy and do my therapy in private and he really didn't want that. He has not wanted Chantel to go to therapy before and that still wasn't enough to keep her from returning. 
the biggest of red flags. Well, not the biggest, perhaps, but a giant red flag. So he... We were arguing up until I said, it's almost three. Can you just let me go? And he was like, there's no question, blah, blah, blah. You said it was yesterday. You mixed up the day. It's not my fault. So... Honestly, I don't feel bad. I'm not fucking protecting you anymore. If you're going to go online and fucking lie about me like that. Oh, anyway. <clears throat> this is the thing that gets me. They, they keep having this, like, live stream duel where they're both live. And, like, it doesn't make any sense. Make it make sense. No Just sense. talking it out loud just re makes me realize how fucking, like, toxic it is. Dude, living it should make you realize how toxic it is. Complaining about it on your YouTube after the fact every single day should make you realize how toxic it is. Some people don't have the privilege of having, like, a captive audience to be able to vent to like you do. But, Jesus. self um, Hey, Lisa. So I saw her calling. And Riley, hello. And that was it. I didn't answer. Luckily, I was able to email her after and be like... Yeah, he, made me he made me message Pete's and be like, you tell Pete's right now we don't want him in your life, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. And then... I do we need that rewound? He made, he made me message Pete's and be like, you tell Pete's right now we don't want him in your life, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. We have been here before. We have been here before. And she keeps saying, no, I'll stand in front of everyone. I, I, would, I would protect Pete's with my life. I will defend him until the bitter end. He is my best friend. I love him forever. Why the hell are we back in this situation? This was literally a week ago. Why are we back here? This is the same talking point and the exact same scenario and... and Example, except perhaps he's a little bit more the the phone thing, and this all came about because of James's live stream. Ugh, uh, uh, I hate it. Heidi, thank you very much for the sub chat. Heidi says my man called and I had to pick up. What did I miss? <laughs> oh, um, some cooking shenanigans, and now she's talking about her last interaction with old mate and old mate's uh, disapproval of the therapy, and now he's alleged allegedly forcing Chantel to tell Pete she doesn't like James that she doesn't want him in his life the same shit we were here for a week ago and then I went and when I left I texted Pete and it was fake I said don't listen to it it's not real anyway why does she keep going back to that house all of this drama I mean for clicks views food and sex and listen yeah, substances right. allegedly nice. well I was under the impression that I met him, he was in a really bad place, like, just everything, and... Right. And? Why do you have dirt under your fingernails? Sorry, that seemed very blunt and pointed, but I'm just confused, because she was just cooking, right? But her, like... Unless it's just shadow. Maybe it's just shadow, but she... It looks like there's dirt under her fingernails. Sorry. Sorry. We'll continue. But only on the, the only on the left hand. Where I cut out the part of him talking to me that it was like hearing it while Hello, like, I was with him while we're like it was playing. I was so like trying to like protect it's him right. from it. Like oh. oh, it's hair soot. That would make sense. Like I tried to like protect him so much. Why you don't need to protect this individual? You gave him a goddamn public platform. You people are just like fighting. Mm -hmm. Uh, part of me feels bad because I've only got half the story if I'm only listening to Chantal, but there's absolutely no way in hell I'm covering Old Mate. Like, abs like one at the moment, one problematic YouTuber, enough of my energy on the YouTubes. Um, stop. This is nonsense. Nonsense. Drama, You're not ruin, ruin my appetite, buddy. You're not worth it. Hey, honey, it was a super hot day in Brisbane. Yes. Yes. I need to watch his live later because you know what? It's like I don't even know this person when I watch him like that. I don't know. He's so... Whatever. So, I missed my therapy. <laughs> my watch outline? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm a I'm bit so mad. I was at the point of like, I'm going to break down. I wanted to go home and I couldn't find my keys. So I went upstairs and right. I the bed and I sat on the bed hard and was like, where's my keys? None of this happened. Wow. Like, come up with, like, a plausible lie? I thought you were smarter than that. I don't know. Anyway, so he was like, 
Do I think that this happened? Possibly. I mean, and this is the thing, team. You all get to make your own decision on what you think the version of the truth is because we don't know what the objective truth is ever. He was like, shut, shut the F up. I and tend like, to go like, worst case situation. He's really blah, blah, blah. And he's like, shut the F up. And then he's like, they're beside the fridge. They were beside the fridge, but they were in my purse before. Were they? So anyway, so I got my keys now. And he's like, what time are you going to be back here? And I'm like, I don't know an exact time. I have so much freaking more peace here because it's like, I'm like, I don't know an exact time before dinner. And that was like, not good enough. It has to be like an actual time. And if it's not, if I'm not there, I fuck this whole day. The plans are ruined. Ugh. Wow, what the hell's he got going on? He doesn't have a job apart from YouTube, right? Has he got, has he got places to be that he's not driving to? Okay. I mean, both, both of them don't seem to have like a whole lot going on. This is a ridiculous talking point. It's a good thing. Sorry, chat. I just have to, just for, <laughs> sorry, feeling a little bit shady today. Um, I need more shade because look how burnt I am. Hey, hey. Um, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help for my help. Well, I'm trying. What happened this time to make every anyone believe this is different? <laughs> Thank I you. I do Jen. always go back because I miss him. After a few hours, I miss him, and I think what I just miss him, and I worry about him. But that's a you. Sorry, miss. That's something you're gonna have to deal with. And the audience is sitting here literally screaming, being like, you have no reason to go back. Just, like, just because you want to. And that's it. You just do whatever you want to do. F the cons. F? Fuck the consequences. There we go. Amanda, <laughs> thank you very much for the super chat. Amanda says, amongst so many other problems, they both have way too much time on their hands, which leads to even more fighting and stupidity. Yeah, it all just kind of boils down into a ridiculous back and forth on a public platform that we all get to watch. I mean, it would be so much different if any of these conversations were had in private, because they might actually go somewhere. But here, they just go round and round, round and round and round. Fenella and Leo. Oh, me, girl, I followed you for so long, Chin Up. Thank you, Fenella and Leo. Kato, if you didn't watch this week, you have missed nothing. He said you're not in a relationship, then yell, leave. Some respect he has for you. He's laughing at you to strangers. That's pathetic. Great guy. Yeah. He's not a great guy. He has no respect for her. Foodie has admitted to him he, he is just using her. Like, she she is conscious of that fact, but returns for whatever reasons. And, and we all know. We're sitting here. This is not a surprise to anyone. And I don't think any, like, or I shouldn't say that, but I can't imagine any new audience members are coming in having to have this conversation three times in a week and sticking around for very long. Bald Patch, thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Bald Patch says, she can cut this man off. Yes, she can. He literally can't drive to her place. No, he can't. <laughs> she willingly gets in her car and goes back for more. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, it's wild. There is no reason for her to drive an hour or however long it takes to get to Old Mate's place. But she does on the daily. Make it make sense. None of it makes sense. It makes me feel like, I don't feel like a person with him. Like somebody said, I feel like a wallet. And a sex toy. Hey, Sparks. Like, oof. Oof. Sorry. Like somebody said, I feel like a wallet and a sex toy. Like. Yeah. Like, actually, more like a sex toy. But also a wallet. Yeah. Yeah. It. Look. Stark realities, right? And once again, past Zach is certainly able to reflect on some poor relationships at a younger age, um, where I wish I'd have had this clarity to be able to see, oh, I am being used by this person for whatever means, right? She's not entirely delusional to parts of this reality, including that statement right there. But it's not going to stop. It's just going it, to... We're just, like... I said they'd be back together by this weekend. Perhaps, perhaps that was a little a little early, although payday is coming up, so we'll see. Jen, thank you very much for five months. Jen says, five months? It's been so fun. Thanks, Poppy. Jen, it's my absolute pleasure. Let's continue. Is he ever nice to you? What do you miss, Kelly? Oh, I don't know. I feel Ruby like I'm just form. seeing things so much Sorry. differently. Like, it just, it gets progressively worse, guys. Like, he wasn't always like this. Or maybe he wasn't, I didn't see it. 
He has always been like this. We have been having the same conversation for six months and we're tired. We're all so tired. So tired. But again, we watch. Morbid curiosity, life lessons, learning the things, what not to do, do not do. He you said know. I'm jealous of Monique. <laughs> okay, now we can start. Oh my god, I gotta go watch this live. Skip. Or just skip through. He doesn't get skip. it. He doesn't, if he doesn't want me to go to therapy, he doesn't give a fuck about my mental health. <laughs> no, he doesn't. What like what makes you think this person gives a shit about you at all? Sorry. Sorry if that came across as rude or blunt, but like there is like nothing. Zero. Zero. Nothing. Nothing that has been presented makes me think that old mate cares two two wits about Foodie, apart from what he can get from her. But if Foodie's not in his life, he'll just move on to the next mark. Like that he doesn't Chantel, he doesn't care about you. Sorry, he does he doesn't he doesn't. He doesn't care about you. That's what I realized. Like you actually I actually like said to him, I'm like like a moment for me of clarity was like oh. when I looked at him and I was like, just say yes. Just tell me I can go. I'll be back in like 50 minutes. And he said, not going to happen. And I was like, why are you putting yourself in a situation where you have to ask another person if you can go, if you can leave? She keeps saying, oh, I felt, you know, I, I have to sneak out. Um, I always have to tell him where I am. Like, like she's, she's been told that this is not, this is not normal behavior on old mate's part. This is not average behavior on... No. No. Gross. Ill. Gross. Ill. The fact that I have to ask permission to do something for my own self, and my own health, is fucking ridiculous. Yes, it is. Act on that. Stop Susan, going back. You always get my comments. Oh, sorry, I didn't see a purple mermaid, I swear. I have not angry triggered, not yet. Heidi, thank you again for the super chat. Heidi says, this man must have a magic wiener for her to continue putting up with him. I'm both appalled and intrigued. I haven't been keeping up for three-ish months. Heidi, I mean, there's been there's been some relatively big developments over three months, but we're pretty much where we are. I d yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. You kicked me out. He's unbelievable. I know. Yeah, Faith. Why do I keep going there? Because I have feelings for him. And I really am in denial. Like, I really, 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 like, it's almost like I'm stupid. I need to, I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I have no problem saying that now. I'll swallow my pride and be like, I'm a fucking idiot because almost like I'm just like. Yeah, but you, you saying that and you actually like acting in your own interests and making changes will be two different things. It's all well and good to be self-deprecating, but it's a little bit different to be self-reflective and act on that reflection. Nancy, thank you for six months. Nancy says he must have a diamond encrusted member. Oh, that word. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here for six months, <laughs> Nancy. I appreciate it. You know that the whole scenario with the hamster, there's a cupcake like from The Simpsons and there's a buzzer, a zapper. <laughs> and every time you touch the cupcake, you're going to get an electric shock. Well, that's what happens. And every time I go, the voltage gets higher and eventually it's just going to burn my fucking hand off. And it's like... But see, here's the thing. Like, the again, not a professional, but from an audience perspective, she speaks to her own food addiction, problematic relationship with food. She she eats on camera for money, right? That's the mukbang era. Here we have, I found a guy who's not great for me, abusive in every way. I can cause up drama. I can cause a stir and drama and get paid for it. I don't mean to say they are the same, but I'm saying that poor decisions and poor and putting yourself into dangerous position situations right putting yourself into dangerous situations this is not forgiving old mate at all he's toxic trash garbage awful and no one deserves anything that's going on but reflecting on both of those things she's she's voluntarily putting herself into vulnerable and dangerous positions or situations and benefiting from it financially Wake up. Part of me wants to see how much burn I will take. And it's just like... Stop it. That's gross. Ew. Polter, thank you for 10 months. Polter says, it's sad that she wants love so bad to do this. I, yeah, I, I don't, I, you know what? It's an interesting conversation to have about like the human perspective of love. I think that there's like a healthy average. I don't know. I think perhaps love is a subjective idea, right? What's love for one person might be different a different definition of love to another person, right? Or what it means to them. Um, 
foodie's perspective on, on love is all types of whack that I don't get. Like, not just that, not much how burn I will take, but how much I can tolerate to make it work with him so I can be with him. It's not going to work with him. You won't fix him. He is a user and abusive in every way. Move on. Stop it. I think it is a big part of it. I like the attention too. Morning, Ed. But... Yeah, the attention, it absolutely is that. He hasn't seen the top of my head. LL, your response when given ideas for resources of help is very telling. You have the chance, means, and support of hundreds of mortally evil abuse victims have no one. Please give real explanation. I talked to my therapist about that. I said a lot of people just don't have sympathy because I don't have um, any actual, like, house or any actual finance, like, attachments. Yeah. Um, Less about sympathy. In my case, it's not understanding why the hell you go back, but... That's actually not true. Like, oh. I think he's been dependent on me a lot. Uh, yeah, dump his ass. And not just that. So it's, like, hard for me to just leave him stuck. So why? It, it should not be hard. Dump his ass. That makes it hard to leave, but then it's also hard. It, I also have, like, emotional attachments. Like, a lot of emotional attachments to him that make it hard. And my own personal reasons, too. So. Sh sure. It's a laundry list of reasons to stay. It doesn't, like, invalidate. Of course it makes it... Of course, like, a lot of people have it a lot worse. But that doesn't invalidate my situation. No, it doesn't. But it's such a confusing situation because you continue to go back. So I went to the bathroom. My purse was was on the table. You know, you've told the story already. Sorry, just skipping. He's never apologized. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. He blames everything on me. Yeah, he's manipulative. And abusive in every way. Time, in your too. words. I can't talk sense into you. That's why he doesn't want me to come and go live and talk about him. He gets so mad. You know, Ginger Lilo. When can we get back to regularly sketch? Oh my god. Marioing, we will be, Marissa. And I'm getting the new one. Somebody please. What price will you pay to stay away from that trial? Really? Hospital visit after injury, having to go live without a black eye, confirming people. No, hey, princess. I'm not going to let that happen. So. Thank you for the compliment. Slapping you propaganda. Oh, are you enjoying Pokemon? I just started He's Diamond yesterday. The wrong things. Got like he doesn't five realize. Hours. That's the thing. He doesn't realize the real problem. Like, yeah. I'm good to him? Oh, he's good to me? He is not good to you. Oh my god. Toxic yeah. chat over there. Ugh. <laughs> And that's the thing. That's the awful thing. There are probably some audience members who are just like, oh my god, <laughs> old maiden Chantel forever. And that's just gross. That's the worst. I mean, and that's the thing. You miss one day in foodie ver the foodie verse, and you just like, who even knows? But I don't, like, I can't imagine anyone agreeing with that perspective. Ugh. Anyone in the woods? Oh. Diamond's pretty good. I went with Tur Twig to start. Maybe I'll just go to Jamaica. It's my turtle boy. Winter's coming. Even just for a week, you know? Yeah. Okay, skip. We've got another live stream. Date. Let's go. Please start. Start fresh, please. Thank you. I feel like it's hard to date as like a train wreck YouTuber. What do you do for a living? Oh, you know. I don't even know what to say. I make money somehow. I don't know how. I mean, she quite openly tells people she's a YouTuber, right? I'm just recalling when she crossed the border and she told the border guard all about it. Just come on here, say shit. That's not true. I really enjoy I really enjoy your company. And going to places. I really like the coffee beezing. So you know what? That's going to be an official series. Morning coffee. We're going to try different coffee shops. But is it going to be in the morning? <laughs> so I'm going to buy like 500 a month 3 p.m. coffee. It's going to be expensive. Maybe not every day, just like Monday to Friday or something. You know what would be great if you just, like, bought beans and a grinder, and I'm sure you've got a machine in the appliance graveyard somewhere. You could probably just do coffee at home. And, you know, if you want to, like, learn about the different types of beans, different, like, roasts, di like, different brands, blends, presses, like, you could, you could do that. But seeing what you just did to that chicken, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. You said once that you would never let a man control you, that you were uncontrollable. But he forced you to send a text to Pete. Find yourself again. I know, with him, I'm, I'm not myself with him. Like, I'm completely, like, submissive and, like, afraid and not the same. Dandy, hi, just getting here. Any thoughts about my idea of the application? Okay, I hate, I hate the words submissive, submissive, sorry, and afraid in the same sentence so casually like that, considering how she introduced old mate. If you were there, you know. And if you weren't there, um... When first introducing Old Maid into the picture, she refers to him as Dom. There are multiple talking 
points in there about a relationship built on a specific power dynamic that she doesn't handle very well and is completely ignorant over. Um, and now we get this stuff and I hate it because I hated it when we started and I knew we would get here and I can see it now. <sighs> okay, we're skipping. She's, doing, she's quiet. Let's go. Let's go. Megan, thank you for rejoining oh, as a child yeah. member. I appreciate it. Welcome to Bobster. I think we're at seven Hi, months. Sandra. Oh, she sure, is yeah. my daddy. How the fuck do you join for a membership? I want to be a beezer! Yes! Check the description for the link. Or my main page. Or skip. Hello. Miss Holly. Thank you, Miss Holly. That's true. Skip. Oh, Gail, I'm so glad you did. Fuck the girl he was cheating with. Got to see how he was manipulating her too, just like me. And making me the bad guy. I knew then I went crazy with him. Oh my god. There you go. It just takes, sometimes it just takes something. And I think for me, was the first, like the phone, okay. And then I just thought, okay, well, I, be I believe that he had like reason to treat me that way. Like, I talked a lot of shit about him. Obviously he's going to be mad. And he has a, he's, he's right in a way. I'm like, and I even thought it was kind of clever. Oh, he's going to threaten to delete my YouTube because that's what I deserve. Because I fucked him over on online. <laughs> like, what? I just... I don't know. Do anything to try to get you know what I mean? Like in the same way, like he's arrogant. Mm -hmm. So skip. Don't worry, chat. We've got another fart. live stream to go through after this. I have to fart. Damn it! <laughs> Could have been real handy skipping that. No, sorry, that's a slur. I apologize. I didn't realize that. Like, <laughs> why do you laugh at the making fun of me? Wasn't expecting this, but okay. I don't, I didn't think of the vampire thing. I didn't make fun of his teeth with that. It was, I don't I'm know. I'm not surprised. I don't know. It just made me laugh. <laughs> Hope he didn't hurt me for laughing. You've lost your mind about after everything you said and backtracked. Yeah. I'm constantly fighting with myself. Like, it's constantly tug of war between missing him wanting to go back and then hating his guts and having some self-worth for like five seconds. But also, it's just been getting progressively worse, which is so weird because he knows I'm a public figure. So why would you just keep getting worse? I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Your husband farted. Heard me fart. Oh no, my phone's gonna die. Just wait. I'm all, all done. Right. All done in here. Nancy, thank you very much for the super chat. Nancy says, I took a mental health break from the Chantel S show. Good idea, mate. Looks like I haven't missed much in the soap opera. No, not, n really nothing. Welcome back, and thank you for the super chat. But um, And I'm very glad to hear that you took a step back. And team, Nancy, thank you for the reminder. Team, if this is, if this is too much, if you've got, you got other things to do, if you're not driving inspiration, positivity, motivation from this ridiculousness that we watch and that comes out of my mouth, please feel free. Take care of yourself. Take a break. Reflect. You know, do the things. Take care of you. And I hope you're all being... I didn't say it at the start. I hope you're all being productive and doing something while you listen to this. You don't have okay, to. Guys. You could just be chilling. Ooh, but... My hair. It's in the back. Stretch. You want to go for a walk? <laughs> I doubt we get it. Words are hot. Guys, I was... If my clippers were charged, I was going to shave my head. Do it. I can't wait. If she if she shaves her head on, ca on live stream, I will do the same. Would I look cute or no? I mean, I think I look cute. You are more <laughs> worth more than what you think. Thank you, Gail. Beach <laughs> board. <laughs> He's crazy. He's insane. No, sorry, that's a slur. I apologize. I didn't realize that. Like, even just saying that's crazy, that's apparently a slur too. So, I went bald two years ago. Ooh. Sam and his walk. Do you think it'll be too cold for Sam? Okay. I don't remember a lot about that. I need to put my hair up. Hold on. I'm looking for a hair elastic. Okay, she's gonna rummage around to some drawers, put her hair up. I got my wine and now I'm back. Yay! I was talking about Pete's not showering. Oh god, we're just back to where we were last weekend, where old mate's live streaming and her chat is in his chat, watching and then reporting back to Chantelle on what he's saying, and then she speaks. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He was watching pizzas. I don't know if it was like a live stream or video. Pete said he was like a cute. Somebody asked him if he showers. He said, or he didn't need to shower that day or something. And he was, he needs to shower every day. Look at my chin hair. It's getting worse. Skip. 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 
Monica. Hello, Nomad. Forty-year-old men have jobs, Chantel. Most, I guess. Ronnie, thank you for the super chat, mate. Ronnie says, I had a play on Movie tonight. Night. Welcome so to very right. important nice. sort of dessert. Ready, set, these. I hope you enjoy. I was checking, actually. I was thinking about it. Hell, I want to hear all about that. I don't know if there's anything what? in this hour. Denise? No idea. What link? Are you the one who sent me the Chinese horoscope link? Oh, well, this is fun. <laughs> Great skip sack. What's that? Is that a can? Is that one of those CBD drinks in the back? Dishwashing liquid, a candle, something, a pot lid, a kettle, or whatever. Skip. A CD sign? Which band? She never did that Ouija video, did she? <laughs> Just sitting, sitting up there. Never L. Uh, Jen. It's true, he's literally live. I don't know about okay, Noxima. Okay, join the link. Yes, that's right, Denise. Only as a drag so queen. So what is the, okay, I'm gonna, after I get off here, I'll check it out. Or we'll check it out. <laughs> I gave him a slash a reading slash whiz, so. Skip. Go to sleep. My thoughts cat slept for 16 hours a day. They're bored, Chantal. <laughs> They've got nothing to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why Shitty. they fight. Maybe, maybe <laughs> provide them some entertainment. You know what? What movie should I watch tonight? Scream? I feel like watching Scream. You didn't watch a movie. Or. You produced more of the Chantal show. She, looks, she probably is. Skip. <laughs> Some moments, but. <laughs> it was good, eh? The cherry bubbly. Chantal, they depend on you. They are loyal. They love you and they trust you. Please take them to get a checkup. I will. We're going to do a vlog of it, okay? It's their fault! God, how hard is it to get an animal to the vet? Look at Sam's butt. And she tribes as well. Like, there's nothing stopping her just putting her cats in a carry box and going. Except she can't be effed. Anyways, guys, maybe I should go soon. I've been on for a long time, and maybe I should go watch a movie. Carrasco, hello. Good to see you. Emily, we are playing the skip game pretty heavy today. FB. Oh, hi! Thank you! Yeah. Chantel's just high and glaring at us. Well, now she's smiling. I might be hungry later. But but another good restaurant. Like an hour ago, you had a plate of pasta. But That's okay. Right, okay. Late. Skip. Okay. Skip. A really good pasta, actually. I swear. Oh, sorry, BB Jens. Was it? BB Jens! Oh my god, we've got dancing. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Spoilers. Actually, let's see for ourselves what this guy has to say. What what guy? What what are we doing here? What is this? What is this? <laughs> what are we doing? Why? There are no lights. There are <laughs> just a dimly lit room. Foodie putting glasses on. I'm apprehensive. What is going on? Let's turn the fireplace on. Why are we here? Why are we set up like this? This is this is not the My angle line. I'm used to. I have to clean up. Maybe Jade must have thrown up. Or Sam. So yes. I'm Setting in the mood, Megan. <laughs> My husband says the fake me. Oh, does she start watching Old Mate? Oh no. What does that mean? <laughs> you think I'm being fake? No, man. This was very much Blair Witch. If she wasn't facing the camera, if she was standing I feel in like the corner. Myself, yeah. really. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see. Oh, team, also, there are 600 of you currently joining. Thank you all so much for spending your evening, morning, day hanging out. I appreciate you all. If you'd like to hit that like button, please feel free. I need to see for myself because people come in here and they're like, who cares anyways if you talk shit about me? Why are we sitting here, back? though? Why is he putting that picture as his thumbnail? Look more innocent? Choices. Yeah, just to watch the gym. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. Great. Like now we get to watch both of them. Those bills in the background? <laughs> freaking, I haven't paid the internet bill since we got it. So, uh, I never got the bill. Like, they're all <laughs> and they just... just a note to anyone who, who wants to hear it. Paperless bills exist. They go straight to your email. Really handy. Cut it off and I just never paid it. I have to pay it. I forgot about it. Is that why she was having internet trouble whenever she was coming back and reconnecting? 
Maybe. Maybe they... Because, like, some... Like, in the old days, right? If you... If you were over your downloads or uploads or you didn't pay on time, they would, like, cap your your uploads and downloads. So, <laughs> do you think she just didn't pay the bill and they were like, we're going to keep supplying you internet, but, like, we're going to cap it so that your uploads are for shit. <laughs> Whoops. Drop her stuff off on her porch. He can't. Stab it. Oh. It's a good theory, Vicky. Tin for beret. I almost sure. feel bad when I watch him. Like I don't know. Uh, see what happens? Oh, she was referring to his. My incident. credit is screwed. What will you cook next? I'm so bad with money. Violetta, I love the way you say my name. And yes, you're right about him talking shit about you. It's so stupid. Love you, girl. Is do I say it right, Violetta, or is it Violetta? Okay, we're still gonna skip through this as well. <laughs> see him like blaming me for not helping him. And I had a video in six days. Blah blah blah. If you love me and you want me to be happy, like what you say. Dump his ass. Why do you keep coming back? Why you have my videos? Don't be even hated it. Hmm? You don't give me time. Why is she editing his videos? Like, fuck off. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. But he's using you. Foodie, wake up. He's using you in every way possible. Oh my god. Ronnie, thank you again for the super chat. Ronnie says, I hate how much she loves this. It's all, it's all attention. It's all attention. And all she can see is eyeballs and dollar signs. He wants people to stroke his ego right now. Okay, let me go. So do you. Bonnet. You want me to turn him on? For real? Is it making me sick? It's making me sick. I should, I should turn it off, right? I don't feel my body. This is not even really funny. Shan, did you feel or did BBJP? Really You're both going to the doctors. Dumb. Just dumb. <laughs> I was just to think, I was, uh, anyway. Yeah, oh, just be friends. Why be friends? Why would you ever be friends with this person? Like, it's never made sense to me to, like, I'll be cordial. Sometimes I'll be juice. I'll be cordial. <laughs> <laughs> to to an ex, but like I won't actively, and I know this it works different for everyone, but like I won't actively engage with continued friendship, um, because that's not how my emotions work. Why? Why? What? For why? Why would you continue to be friends with it? Like what? What is this person putting in your life that you appreciate and enjoy? Nothing. Literally nothing. Not in a committed relationship. Why would you be friends? Ill girl, get away. But no, that's not possible. Because my friend, he's happy to see me stuck. Happy to see me stuck? Happy to see you stuck. Like, you were happy to see me stuck at your house when my therapy was up? How were you stuck? Like, I'm. yes, you were stuck. He was, he was trying to take away your ability to leave. But that is the biggest red flag to be like, now you're home, you are safe, you are not in that position anymore, don't put yourself in that position again, girl, wake up, because you're the worst example. Everybody, teams... Say it with me. Do not do as Chantel do. Like, do recognize the red flags. Recognize when you're like, because the way she normalizes it is if is as if, oh yeah, this is this is fine. This is fine because she'll go back. She'll of course she'll go back and she'll forgive all of this. And that's not that's not cool. Do not put yourself in vulnerable and dangerous situations with people who basically are trying to entrap you. Don't do that. Please take care of yourself. Be safe. She won't listen, but maybe someone else will. <laughs> Bloody. Wow. He doesn't see that I'm not the enemy. Like, that's, like, he treats me like an enemy, and, I don't know, it's just, like, weird. that <sighs> bad. Anyway, the video, he basically asked me to do these things for him. So, yeah. I say no. Did it for him, big deal. Why would you not, just say no? Like, he asked, like, I kiss my feet. Uh, say you want to have, se have sex with me, so. Exhaustion. Oh, lunar moon. Yeah, Liliana, I know. God, this is, this will be studied as, like, these are, this is what a relationship should never be. Never, Please ever. Please take BB Jet to the vet. Nothing about this is good. Don't ignore your good. 
Um, thank you, Winter Moon. It's all special talking. You unblock me on my main account under Sarandon. Nothing worse than talking loser. Oh, I would have blocked you. For that. Thank you, sir. I will. I will. I'm gonna go unblock you. Both. Um. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna take the cats to the vets next week for sure. Mark your calendars, everyone. Like Monday or whatever. I don't know, but whenever I can get an appointment, I'm gonna call and make an appointment Monday. Okay. So that Monday's payday. You'll release the video well, someday, he's gone. Sunday's payday, but <clears throat> Monday. On well, Monday, we'll get. Sorry, guys, I had to transfer money between accounts because for some reason her AdSense falls into a, an account that's not her debit card. It's weird. Um, sure. And then we'll probably not hear about it until December anyway. If he does, and I'm not able to pursue something legally for it then that's the consequences I have to deal with for my actions of recording with him. Stop recording with him. Like, Monday when Natter lets me leave, no. Kaku! <laughs> Welcome very important music to me. Skipping ahead. So if your air purifies on, make sure it doesn't give off ozone. Oh. Oh, well, that's something ahead. If you ask somebody question and say yes, next day say no, that's lies. You, you, I, yeah, he didn't kick the cat. He, like, swatted her away. Anyway, whatever he did, she's scared of him, and she doesn't like him. So, Right, it wasn't a kick, guys. Let's be specific with our verbiage. It wasn't a kick. He just nudged her. <sighs> sorry. You don't want to see his ugly... I mean, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. He didn't kick the cat. He's, like... I know. Oh, I'll see. It's okay, Sabrina. It doesn't matter what he says. I don't even know why. Then why are you watching? Oh, God. Skip. Swatted her off or something like that. Okay, so so we've specifically changed the verbiage from kick to swat. Poor BBJ. I know. I was hysterical. Were you? You were hysterical. And you, you, you were his most avid supporter and forgiver after that all happened. Road trip to New York for a nice vlog. Yes! Why do you think this is what your audience wants? What do you want, EG? Not Ouija this. I want to make Rice Krispies. Go make... Does she make Rice Krispies? Because we can watch that. Look, I'll take anything over this this currently, but, like, food shenanigans. Not mukbangs, but cooking shenanigans. I'm here for that. <laughs> it doesn't matter when you say something. You lie. But it doesn't matter what you say, because then you lie. You see how the audience gets I was confused? I that lamp a few hours ago. Well, not a few hours ago, but... Or, well, I guess we're right. I was going to go home. I went home at, like, 6 in the morning. Maybe. No booty hole. Not that I didn't. Wasn't that hysterical? I guess. Uh, over a hundred. Have you ever bought Chantal anything? No. Oh, she's is she reading his chat as well? Oh my god, this is way too much input for her. It's okay to be gay. It is. Mm, Ryan, that is homosexual. How do you know? Did you get me before? Somebody already commented that I said I was a kid beside that lamp. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking... Skip. Follow me, send me a message on Facebook or email. Skip. Oh yeah, chat. Tin for beret moment. Theory. Situation. What happened to the Instagram? What happened to that? That's cruel. Take care of yourself, please. You're right. Thank you, Chuchi. Bloomers, sorry, you'll be back no rice tomorrow. Don't send you. Oh. Bloomers, I swear. Looking out for the popcorn. Okay, EG. You'll see. I do, my love. Thanks Megan, this is not a great angle. This is... <laughs> this is not helpful for anyone. <laughs> no, Kels! Morning, Emma. Uh, let's go, Mick. <laughs> just, I understand you need to save your brain cells. <sighs> great idea. Skip ahead. <laughs> LD, why are you sitting here giggling and watching a man claim of beauty and tells you how to seem obsessed with him, LD? Uh let's say he held me hostage. I don't know. I feel like I should be watching this, but I am. I get that feeling sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Crop dusting in public. Oh my god, that's an actually a good idea, Rachel. Oh my god. I don't want to talk about farts. <laughs> he said obsessed piece doesn't even shower. What's that to do with being obsessed with? Go only do doggy because that's the only <laughs> Oh, sorry, these comments oh my are... god, she really... Do you think she ever just switches off? Like, she mentioned switching off from the relationship before, but, like, do you think she ever just... Like, what's Chantal's chill? I know that's a bit of a joke, because she doesn't really do a lot, but, like, she is receptive to media, 
like all the goddamn time. If she's not on a live stream, she's on Instagram. She's on like now she's turning into face like turning to Facebook with her audience. Like she's never she's never disconnected. Do you ever think she just disconnects apart from when she's sleeping? She probably should. She should really learn to do that. And that's a like it's a hard thing to do with social media the way that it is because you have, you know, the world's resources in your pocket in a phone. Um but as as you mature, um, there is there is another layer of responsibility that you get to introduce to your life, which is how much do engage do I engage digitally, right? Do I do I keep doom swiping on Facebook, seeing you know things from my aunties that I don't want to see, or do I you know do I deep dive into Instagram influences? Like when do you switch off? And as a as a responsible adult you get to make that choice right you get to make the choice of when you step away and i just wonder if foodie ever does because i don't think she does hmm. i can't believe it's friday night and i'm watching these two okie doll it's it is about attention exactly okay guys let's go make some so you know like i think that if she's not streaming or she says she's watching a movie or whatever. I personally, I think she's like <laughs> reaction channels, reading about herself, like actively engaging on Instagram, Facebook, like whatever, like all within her ness. And she needs to learn to switch off. What? He looks high. Oh, are we judging people? Uh, are we? <laughs> Are we judging people on how they they look in regards to highness now, miss? <laughs> Are we allowed to do that now? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> That's the thing, Roxanne. No. Very like, like, I don't think Foodie spends hours a day on household chores, on hobbies, on, like, anything. It's just this. It's so focused. Don't get mad at me. I'm going to go make friggin' Rice Krispies. I'm just lazy. We don't get the Rice Krispies team. Yes, join members beezers. I'm telling you we're extra happy. What? Yeah, he should delete the vids of me. You know what? If I ask him to delete them and he doesn't, what happens? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a really good question. I think that... You could potentially take it legally. Maybe? I don't know. Consent and waivers for YouTube videos? That's all a lot. I don't know. Let's... Uh, why don't you do it, though? Explore that so we can learn. I don't need... I teach you how to talk. Doesn't that sound... Oh, how to make sense. Oh, L, that makes sense. Thank you. Guys, I have to go. I will charge my phone. And I have to call the vendor. And this one. And... <clears throat> okay, this skip. We're back in the kitchen. Let's go back in the kitchen. Oh, my dishes, my sink is dirty. Hello, guys. Oh, sorry, chat. I know there may have been some confusion of what was just mentioned there. I thought old mate was talking about... Uh, sorry, I thought Chantel was referring to the videos in which she's in them on his channel. Right? I wasn't I wasn't talking about anything else. I was talking about the produced and monetized YouTube content that included Chantel and trying to remember what, like like what waivers and responsibility and like all of that looks like and i have absolutely no idea and that's why it would be interesting to like unpack because i'm so sure i'm so sure there are youtubers out there who have like consented to a youtube video and then taken the consent back and then fought legally about whether or not it should still be up or down i'm so sure there's been a story like that i just can't remember how do i Hey, Laurie. Hello. 
<laughs> yeah, Lottie, I think it's got something to do with, like, ownership of likeness. I, I can't quite recall, though. We need to save a weekend. Because it's Friday. I mean, there's the op yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Okay, we're just doing dishes. All right, we'll skip. It's fine. Skip, skip. Ouija. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Also, she has a dishwasher. Or being drunk and the spirit. That was a future past. Okay, we're talking about Ouija. And go and watch something and just be miserable. Great. Well, she takes it. And be miserable the... until I'm not miserable anymore. So we're going back. No, we are not. Tomorrow. We're going anywhere. Probably tomorrow. <laughs> That's true. If I'm not online for like 20 hours a day, you guys are going to be skeptical. But I don't blame you. I really don't. No, because why? Like, it's expected at this point. It'd be foolish to not question. We've been there. I'm gonna make the rice crispy later, I don't know. I'm lazy. Skip. <laughs> Booty hole. <laughs> Booty hole Love indeed. Me. And then he'll say, well, I go online to talk shit about you because you talk shit about me online. Yeah. Well it's... then don't do shitty things, I, have, I wouldn't have to talk about them. I don't know, like, or what? don't talk about, like, neither of you talk about it to your audience, because this is a public platform. One, not your diary. Two, not your therapist. Three, not your good duties. This is a public platform that runs ads. Like, <laughs> come on. I don't know, I have more sympathy for him. Like, this, I don't know why he expects sympathy. You know how to write limbo. Because you give him everything else he asks for, so... Grape soda out of a wine glass. I think it's bubbly, isn't it? Her whole channel is called Drama, Foodie Beauty Drama and Manipulation. <clears throat> I mean, it's a concise title. Yeah, none for you. Do not feel guilty. I'm over here on the head. Bison, hello. Decorate for Christmas? Skip. I don't know. We're gonna have we're gonna have Halloween decorations out until the middle of November, guaranteed. Yeah, we we're Friday. already past that. <laughs> December, probably. <Yes. laughs> Jackie and Alina. Skip. Alright, guys. Okay, we're done here. We're gonna get to Beeson. This was the latest live stream. Two hours. Oh. He changed the battery. <laughs> Are you talking to change Not long after that previous live stream, right? This is this is the same night. This this finished earlier. Battery, there's no one here. Orville Redenbacher, check. Uh, hi. Hi. How's everyone's day going? What's I had a question? fabulous day. If you're just catching up, the reason why I'm sunburned, I went to the beach. Beach. It's great. Hmm. Popcorn. Oh, we're at popcorn. I'm from Demon. Do love popcorn. What did you put on the popcorn, though? No! Peach piss. A tribe called Creek. Hopefully not peach piss. You're at work. Beauty popcorn, Nashi. Beauty popcorn. Here we go, people. Also, just a, just a shout out to anyone who's afraid of making popcorn on the stove. It's real easy. It's real, real easy. You don't need, you don't need bagged popcorn. Make it, learn to make it on the stove. Thank me later. Me, Wallace. One mm -hmm. tablespoon of oil, like... 50 grams or half a cup popcorn kernels. Let the oil come up, put a couple of popcorn kernels in, lid on partially, let a little bit of steam escape. Once they start popping, take the oily pot off for 30 seconds, dump your popcorn in, close it, put it back on the heat. Magic. Delete this video? Ooh, no. Sam, Sarah, Lauren. I'm not gonna love her popcorn. Oh no, <laughs> pack, why not? Mattress reveal. Ginger by Loaf. Angie. He deleted his video. Hi, Monica. I need more butter. Galissa. I don't know if you do. You were complaining about heart pain before, so maybe you don't. Ashley. Hi, Vegas doll. 
So much better on the stove, Bunny. So much. And it's real fulfilling, and it makes real quick, and it doesn't have that bag taste. Dry clean. Hi, keeping it real. Sandy and Ant. Popcorn with pulpy. Exactly, Ashley. <laughs> Mint stool. I'm gonna listen later while I'm game. What are you playing, Marissa? I, I didn't delete his video. Abby! <clears throat> it's popcorn. It is. Oh, also, team, if we're talking about can, like tinfoil beret theories, I absolutely think that Foodie has the logins for Old Mate's channel um, because she, I th personally I think she she uploads the videos and edits them like directly. That's that's like it just makes sense in my French vanilla fantasy. Is it like an RPG? So. I'm also going to have my third soda of the day. Okay, quirky. Sam, it's lovely to see you, by the way. I shot out my gel popcorn powder and I'm shooting myself in the leg now. Is that a term? Shooting yourself in the foot. The foot that needs the biopsy. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Hi, bearers. So I was thinking. I'm pretty depressed. Hi, no name chips. But, mm, fair, Jeff. Press? Fair. Oh, I'm taking a break from watching. Guess what movie I rented? Well, it's just because she she's come on before and said, "No, I don't have access. It's his channel. It's not my channel." And it's like, well, if you've got the login details, like it's it's yours. Yeah, that's great press. Cheers. Under sugar. Oh, it's not a bubbly. That's a that's a full fat soda. That's got like thirty grams of sugar in it. Great. Ouija will make me feel better. Cool. Ow. Popcorn thing got in my tooth. It's separating my teeth to... It's forcing tooth separation. Hold on a minute. I gotta do something about this. Give me a piece of cardboard. Oh, is she gonna pick her teeth? Oh, could we not? Skip. Here we go. Shave my head? I'm not gonna shave my head. Yeah, I'm definitely a crispy boy it's today, Sam. I'm real so lucky that I couldn't find the charger to my clippers because if it had any battery power, I would be bald and beautiful right now. But maybe I should be. I didn't take anyone take her light down. I didn't even... Is it gone? I didn't know it. notice. God, it doesn't matter. Who cares? People take their lives down all the well, time. <laughs> live streams way. down all the time. Oh, that's sad. Listen here, you. So we're gonna be beezing a lot because I'll probably need you guys because. Great. Strap in, team. <laughs> I need to keep my mind busy. But Lottie's yelling skip. I need to do things as well. <laughs> Pax so, yelling skip. Content for you. How far do you need content me to skip? Life improvement for me. Give me some direction. Oh, <laughs> Angie, that could possibly be arranged. <sighs> Going bald is freedom. I know. That's the thing. Punisher like, asks, did she take his live down? I think that's what her chat is alluding to with her responses here. Again, part of the fun of not watching the chat, her chat, sorry. One, it's toxic and garbage and I don't need it for my mental health. But two, also just trying to like interpret what the chat's like mood, motivation, communication was while Foodie's sitting there responding. It's a really fun thought experiment sometimes. You have to like stretch the imagination a lot. I just feel like no more hair fibers, no more... Good morning, Gigi. Just the freedom I would feel. I don't want hair implants. Fuck that Overlord, just, good morning. If my hair doesn't want to grow on its own, maybe I will just shave my head. Please do. I'm here for it. Whatever. Uh, Excuse me. This what is that? Hold on. Sorry, team. I don't want hair implants. Fuck that shit. I'll just... If my hair doesn't want to grow on its own, maybe I will just shave my head. Whatever. Hold... Chat, help me out. Sorry. Sorry, here, 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 here. Friends on, maybe I will just shave. I gotta slow it down. My head. Reality time. Whatever. What's that on the fridge? This might just be one of the cat's tails. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was it? Was it the cat? Was it the cat or something crawling? Was it the cat? Something on the fridge. It's not important. I just noticed. It's fine. We'll continue. <laughs> uh, excuse me. This popcorn needs butter. Yeah, it needs butter. <clears throat> Lucy, welcome back. Really? I, don't, yeah. I don't think I don't know if 
I think it's just really unfortunate lighting and probably a little bit of um, undertones can relate. Yeah. It moved. Shave it I think it, no, it's the cat. Okay. It's some gypsy content. I was right. like, it's the cat tail or the cat ear or something. How do we jazz up a Oops. bag of popcorn? We add butter and garlic powder and salt. You could jazz it up a bit more. That's pretty basic. Bam. Also, I don't use butter on my popcorn. I know, shock. I use olive oil. Um, if you get olive oil spray, it's really good to, like, do a spritz, shake, 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 do a spritz, shake, shake, shake. Because, um, obviously, liquid olive oil, like, is just going to pool and soak, and you're just going to get a little bit of soggy um, popcorn. So if you can get olive oil spray um, or coconut if you're going sweet. So coconut uh, BB actually got me onto a protein mix. So I use protein powder, um peanut butter powder and stevia and make like a um a coating out of that spray with coconut oil roll um delicious hey i can twerk whoa poop a flap did you hear that one this is gross i know but are we gonna get over jazzed popcorn over jazzed bag popcorn that already has butter flavor somebody's gonna love me fupa and bald and all right bbj what do you think, BBJ? Paprika and nooch is a really good combination on popcorn, Catherine. Agreed. <clears throat> I think that's true. I think that's very possible. Curry powder polter. I haven't tried that. I definitely should. I like olive oil because it's not heated, so it keeps all of its good elements. Curry powder is a really good idea now. Yeah. All right. I don't know where my popcorn spice is. What is this one? Honey barbecue? No. Honey barbecue. Wait, what? What are we doing? Bam. I just don't trust her in the kitchen today. That sauce was just... Oh, like a boom. Excuse me? What about this one? We're just listening in now. Yeah. On my popcorn, I will put more butter. That's a butter. That's a lot of butter. That's like, is that like a quarter cup, eighth cup? Is it salted butter or unsalted butter? Unsalted. Okay. Great. That's not. That's not the butter. That's already. Okay, that's like a quarter cup of butter. Maybe a half cup of butter. That's a lot of butter. That's a lot of butter to a bag of buttered popcorn. Oh. It's a soggy bag of popcorn. Shake that around. Okay, and now we add some of this seasoning mix here. This has, it's supposed to be for ado, avocado spice, but um, it shrinks your popcorn with margarine, it does, eh? Um, the hell is this spice? Sea salt, paprika, garlic, pepper, celery seeds. Sea salt, paprika, garlic powder. Yeah, okay. Kumak, cayenne, lime zest, dill. Should I put that in it? Let me see what it smells like. That's a lot. You're it's trying lot. not to eat? No. Why don't you taste it first? <laughs> Where's my dill powder? Okay, we can try the honey barbecue or just garlic. Garlic powder is really good. Honey barbecue. B loves life powder. Oh, okay. Oh, so, wow. I thought she meant the sauce. I thought she meant like the the crab boil dipping sauce. And I was. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how I have it in my own cupboards because I never go in them. Ranch! Uh huh. Smell it. Ooh. Okay. Normal salt it is. Okay, it's just butter and salt. Then. Garlic powder and salt. Back to my original plan. Right. <laughs> this is at speed. You know, all these natural companies, they don't put anti-caking agents or something and... Yep. It's weird. And anti-caking agents shouldn't matter for like spices and shit as long as they don't get wet. Like it's fine. <laughs> 
There we go. What do you mean it's weird? What do you mean it's weird? What are you talking about? Butter, salt, and garlic powder. Fabulous. So we just have popcorn night together. I'm having a snack break. Oh, from your busy day. Okay. You guys are my friends. Is this sad? Put it in a bowl. <laughs> Treat yourself to a bowl. You deserve a mm, bowl. Parm cheese? Really? Sure. Quality. <clears throat> mm. What about tahin? What the fuck is going on? It's gonna taste like emotes. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a big lotus pie, that's amore. This popcorn deserved better. <laughs> Elotes popcorn at midnight. What time is it? 11.25? That also, just the, like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm a big spice queen, okay? The amount that she put on, like, she's... She's gonna taste it on eight kernels, <laughs> and that's it. But okay, whatever. <gasps> whatever. Why? What's wrong with Missy? What did you call her trifling? Why? Polly, good morning. Uh -oh. Welcome. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Throw some beets. Hey, anybody, beets are. True crime. That's how I feel a lot of the time. I get excited to explore food, and then I see what she does to it. <laughs> Just hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, chat. Just, um, just, I'm not sure whether or not this portion down here is salt, garlic powder, or palm, but it doesn't seem to be useful to this popcorn at all. Uh, I can make my own baba ganoush now. <clears throat> oh, I wonder, actually, Polter, that's a good question. Anyway. Oh, idea. I wonder if ba well, like yeah, everything but the bagel seasoning is good on popcorn. I imagine it would be. Oh my god. Whoever said Parmesan cheese? Mm. It is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't have any pesto, no. Yeah, pulpy spice. Yeah. Spice queen. Oh, that would be so good. One of these days, a pesto? <laughs> That's a good idea. So, so far, the Candyman movie is pretty good. What do you guys say? Hi, Hexie. How long has she been watching this goddamn movie for? Um, also, just, like, the danger with popcorn is that you can really easily overeat on it. Um, and, it, like, for me at least, it's not supremely fulfilling. She doesn't care, so what's the point? Also, it's soaked up, like, half a stick of butter at this point. There's a man in your bed? I'm jealous. I'm not mad at cheesy popcorn at all. Maybe, you know, it's a great crush, great soda. Purple drink over ice. Carbonated purple drink over ice. Love the idea of a big salty... <laughs> no name chips. No name chips. Moment. Dean, thank you for nine months. Dean says... Are you going to change your name to Miss Vicky's? To add pain to pop so popcorn death. Bulbasaur is the worst. <laughs> Dean, I see you. <laughs> Eventually, you think? But broccoli's the best part. <laughs> Missy moved. <laughs> yeah, Jen, that's the concern. <laughs> For me as well, when I make a bowl of popcorn, it's a bowl of popcorn, um, and my... No, Miss Vicky's are not the best. Are like, they? They're good, though. My food focus often turns off, because it's just hand to mouth, and it's one of those things where I recognize that, for me, I have to be very... Budget chips all the way. Actually, no-name brand chips? They, I find they do taste better. Aware Sometimes, like, of my eating. I don't know what it is. And popcorn's one of those things. It's just, like, chips and dip, it chocolate. Like, if it's something snacky that's not on a plate with cutlery, I will guarantee to, like, not be very conscious of my eating, which means it doesn't fulfill me, which leads to overeating, you know, all or, me problems. Is it the Miss Vicky's who has those spicy dill pickle chips? Oh my god, those are, like, my favorite chips. So, are they? Talk about more food order. while you have food in front of you. Lay's dill pickle is good, too. Paying more money for the main brand is literally because you have to pay for the marketing. That's lame. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Gigi. We can skip some of this. Oh. We came back. 
What's our next adventure? This chapter is closed. <laughs> Let's choose something that's better than this one. Powdered peanut butter and popcorn? Absolutely not. We need a new, yes. we need a goal in life. Just with powdered popcorn, mm. if you're making it sweet, you need to add like stevia or whatever sweetener you're using. Think healthy. Or you can make a caramel popcorn. Oh, Lottie, help me out. Uh, <laughs> so you can get like sugar-free syrup. Uh, it's not sucralose, it's something else. Uh, um, the structure is similar to sugar, so it crystallizes a little bit. Um, and cooking off the popcorn in that with some peanut butter mixture, delicious. Caramel peanut butter. No, I'm drinking delicious. soda in a wine glass. A US road trip? Mmm, Starbies! I need to stay away from Tinder. Yeah, part of... And please, I'm just gonna ask all you guys who message Ooh. me. <clears throat> Five cups of air please don't. popcorn, only being 150 calories. Five I'm cups. I'm going through a lot right now and... I could quite easily get through. I'm getting at her from Tinder or plenty of it? Not very I'll consciously. Remember. Sucrine fiber, that's it. I Even keep then, forgetting. Sucrine fiber. Thank called me you. Like, Thank you. <laughs> he called me and uh, I didn't expect him to. I'm like five, five minutes after I talked to him. I'm like, hello? <clears throat> Hi. It's me from Plenty of Fish. I'm like, Hi. And I said it like that too. And I think he could sense I was weirded out because he's like, You want to talk on Messenger? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> and then. Great. Anyways. We're back to Tinder Talks. Yeah. And no one cares. I'm thinking about other things tonight. But yeah, has anyone seen Candyman? I'm Dar! Skip. Gosh, this is fun. Dust. But I'd have to, like, actually fart, right? Skip. And turn out to be an astronaut. Or a level 3 secretary. Let's find a talking point for you. Topics. Um, anyway. Anyway. Cinnamon and stevia on popcorn? Yes, Beach, I have. Delicious. Pinch of nutmeg, a lot more cinnamon. Delicious. I don't want to fucking get married. Ugh. You bought yourself a Jafar engagement ring? What are you talking about? I think I'm actually traumatized by... Oh, God. What? I actually had a nightmare. Did you? While I was sleeping. I was... Mm. That I for some reason trusted him to come back here with me to get some things, and he like didn't listen to me and like wanted to beat up Pete. Was that a nightmare or the reality? Because it sounds an awful lot like exactly what we've been exposed to as audience members. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> what did I? What was I saying? Oh, I want to get married. I think like. All this domestic shit. Like... What? Go on. <clears throat> Please. I'm not a good housewife. I think that... Like, I think... I'm on. What antiquated, outdated idea of housewife does she have? Oh boy, you could unpack that for a while. Um, miss... Is that, like, being a... No. <laughs> it's not... It's not... It's not everybody's experience with marriage, and also, god damn it. <laughs> Although, you don't have to be to get married. Only to certain type of men. Misogynistic <laughs> men like him. For example. I spend, first of all, I come back here on a timed schedule to do our laundry, including his. Uh -huh. And when I get back, he has the nerve to fucking yell at me for his pants being wrinkled because I didn't fold them right. Did that happen? I don't know. Sometimes the way she tells a story makes, like, just is like, Zach, don't be dumb. This is a lie. That was one of those mo moments. Really? That, piss that fucking pisses me off, KB. Hello, Andraste. And Sassafras. That pisses me off. <laughs> Sorry. I know it's annoying because you guys have been telling me stuff, but I just feel like I'm just getting it. And I- some things. Some things still know.
Groupon. I'm not gonna get a freaking discount hair transplant. Okay, we're skipping ahead. Not my problem anymore. I mean, that's literally what he was. So. Just trying to find that talking point, team. Takes a village, you know. Anyways, he's not my problem anymore. I mean, that's literally what he was. Empty roads, hello. That's problem. Sorry to say that sounds mean, but... It's... It's really not. Also, be mean, please. Buffering is good. <laughs> Why don't you go suffer? Like, yeah. Oh, Accountable Beauty cancelled? What the fuck? Oh. It's a lot of popcorn mouth noises. I'm sorry, booby. <sighs> I think they do should come back. Girl, I'm drunk as fuck, but I love you more than you'll ever know. Oh, so much stuff! <laughs> Surprise, Punisher. <clears throat> uh, Bria? I don't know what karate job is. Oh, God. Why does she keep bringing him up? Um, Bria, I think the relationship between Foodie and Oldmate, it's kind of a choose your own adventure, except awful. Um, for me, they're done, but it's always been transactional. So I think they will all, like just continue to be doing things for each other and talking about each other because there are no consequences to any of this. It's all just eyeballs and money. Maybe is your gay son. For real? Oh, I'm trying to therapy. Charlie, I'm sorry to hear that. I always say try to take try to take a lesson away. Or a perspective. It doesn't need to be like a full thing. Just and he like I, in the live in the live I watched it. He friggin' Did he call J did he call PC F word? I saw a comment about that. Chat, you'll have to forgive me because I refuse to watch Old Mate. Did he call Pete's the F word? I mean, I wouldn't be I'm, I wouldn't be surprised because he has mentioned Pete's uh, tried to insult Pete's by by alleging that he is gay or straight out saying that he is gay. Um, and we've spoken on that before, but I wouldn't be surprised if he used the slur. Feel free to let me know. Better not. I fucking swear. And it was like he or she or something like that. He did. Hmm. Fair, Louisa. I understand. Thank you. Also, just a reminder: wouldn't wouldn't recommend watching Old Mate at all to anyone, at all. Okay. But Lottie comes in with the clarification. Lottie says, "Yes, he did." Also, use trans slurs towards him in the context of Ramona. Ah, excellent. So, Old Mate is utter trash. We all been new, and a bigot. Great. Not great. Awful. He deleted his stream? Did that happen on the deleted streams, I wonder? And is that why they got... Why he removed them? Maybe. Maybe. Savitri, good to see you. Thank you for seven months. Savitri says, we need a skip button for this storyline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I would love nothing more. <laughs> I want, But I do wonder what the next big storyline will be, you know. Because we had... Yeah. I don't know. I Personally, I think the next big storyline is going to come up... Ooh. What? Birthday Beeson? Birthday Beeson or New Year's, I think we'll get a, a fresh lot of drama. All right, on popcorn, you have to try the following mix. Butter, garlic powder, and tahini. Good morning, mm. Terry. What's and the hello, tahini? Mish. Oh, Lee, acid. no, not at all. Like, Chantel and Old Mate are both trash in many, many ways. Um, but... The thing, the thing that Foodie often does is try to build a hierarchy of people based on their good or badness. Um, 
I don't, I don't do that. I don't say Chantel's worse than old mate or old mate's worse than Chantel. No, they're both garbage, trash, toxic, and I would never want either of them having anything to do with my actual real life. This is just a window into a reality that is not mine and I don't engage. Um, just watch because morbidly curious. But am I surprised that both Chantel uses slurs as well as old mate? No, not at all. Pinky, to clarify, he called Pete's well, gay if he said that, the F slur and insinuated um, other things in regards to Ramona. Also, he the first time he called James gay was as an insult. So, um, yeah, it's it's not bad at all. But to to insinuate that someone's sexuality is inherently bad, used as an insult to hurt them or belittle them or objectify them, that's pretty garbage. Yes, Sam. You know, Sam, I was willing to turn a blind eye to a fucking lot for that, for that guy. Hi, Cor. Good to see you, mate. I'm an asshole. It wasn't in the deleted stream, it's on other streams that are still up. Oh, there you go. Mm. <laughs> Amber Lynn's on a striking rampage. Oh, well, we saw that. Hmm. The freak flies are desperate. They're on the lime already. I'm trying to keep it clean in here. So, what I want to do is reclaim this place, make it cozy again. Mostly my room. I would like my room to be my sanctuary again. Okay, great. So, oh, Ronald! Huh? We'll see what that looks like. Hopefully there aren't any KFC drawers in the future. I know Tenshiri, that's kind no, of my perspective as well, like, she she introduced him onto her platform, she, you know, put together his platform for him, and now the world gets to hear so much, and I just don't want to listen to it bong. from him. I have a lot of bong screens, he gave me these, but... Them. Like, personally, I've had enough of the, the F slur in my entire life, I don't, I don't need it from, from... Old mate. Did you ever just like forget to go through all your stuff in here? Oh, candies. I like these candies. I know, I need to rearrange. <coughs> and I have these for the wall now, so I can go put up my ring lights and make my room like my sanctuary. So there's some bees in there. Nighttime bees. Okay. <laughs> Um, would I date a Beezer? Depends. I mean, if they were... Yeah, I mean, I would not date somebody just because they were a Beezer. <laughs> I'm not really thinking about that at all. Honestly, I'm just thinking about... I'm so relaxed. Bottle of seaweed. Please work on some self-improvement before you try dating again. Please. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You'll be back with old mate next week, but... I just need... How long does it take to get something you're addicted to out of your system? Um, well, it takes a lot of work, and it depends on what it is. P please. You need, like, a good three solid days away from that, or... Oh, okay. We're talking about old mate in reference to an addiction. Um... Mm, look. If Chantal does move away from old mate, she will replace it with another thing because that's what she does. And whether or not that's an addiction or a focus, I'm not a professional, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, the thing is, she gets a very specific... Uh, I don't want to say reward, but she gets a very specific thing from old mate that I don't know if a lot in her current world would be able to replace. Attention, food, sex, allegedly illicit substances. The four very powerful motivators for an individual such as Chantal that we see on this public platform. Again, not a professional. I don't know what would be able to replace all of that in her world currently. I wish she'd find it. Therapy is going to help if that's happening. Um, we don't know. Install, thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate the popcorn. Thank you. And then... 
I'll be detoxed. If they were male, I showed her attention. If she goes back to him this week, I'm... I won't be surprised, but I'll be more disappointed than not, because this is a lot of clarity. I've probably flirted with a few as a joke. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not going on dating apps, guys. I'm freaking too famous for that now. Oh, it's just the Jamie, lighting, Jen. Where's Jamie? What the fuck happened here? Someone it's mostly the shoulders. Oh, Cal's B! Yeah. Oh, hi, Jamie! LED cloud light situations. What? Yeah, Lane, she often I didn't says... Do either. She often says cravings and addictions. <clears throat> um... See your ex-boyfriend? And really... I, know, I was like, what if I see BB on here? That's so weird. Really, I think it's just, like, a lot of impulse control. Um, that's a problem. I'm, ne I'm not taking away anything from her disgust addiction to food, uh, but what I will say is that we watch this individual a lot, um... And impulse control does not seem to be a strength of theirs, so there's that to unpack. I won't, but she should. I'm just gonna travel. Like honestly, like I I really wanna like one day be able to take my aunt on an African safari. Okay. Excuse <laughs> me. Ew. That would be so cool. Or I don't know. Let's go rearrange your room. Hi Allison! I mean, she definitely get her steps hour. in. It's midnight. I gotta finish watching my movie. And takes twice that time of your relationship to be fully over that person. You read that in Cosmo. <laughs> I think she's asked this question of her chat about 14 times, by the way. How long does it take to get over someone? Sounds legit. But I still have feelings for a him, year. guys. I, it won't take me a year to get over this guy. Daddy, I love him. It won't take me a year. <sighs> 10 days. <laughs> Friends with benefits. Hmm. Early did you do Long movie? Which one? Um, Candyman? Skipping. Oh, gravy. I wanted to make a puts-in. Did you? You just have pasta. Better do this fucking well. glow-up thing. No more detours. Okay, 2022 glow-up, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. We have had a glow-up every year for three years now. Practically. Oh, well. I mean, seriously, I feel like just yesterday, I was walking at Upper Canada Village with you guys. Hey, All defense. excited. And then, boom, super toxic relationship detour. Welcome and now to Alive. We have to try to recover from that. Like, who needs this? The only, only... No, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Great. Gravy is easy to make if you have beef boy on. Strong talking point. I brought it over there. Of course. <laughs> of course. Skip. The most recent X was, like, exactly... The same amount of time as this one. Like, seven months. What? Ooh. Yeah, Ricky. You got it. Okay. And parm cheese. Parm cheese, tahini, butter, and garlic powder. I don't think... I, I don't think, but okay. Emmy, thank you for ten months. It's lovely to see you today. Emmy says, hello from the new house. Hope you're all well. I'm doing very well, Emmy, and thank you very much for asking. I hope you enjoy the new home. Thank you for being here. Due to be, it's a learning experience. You will choose wiser in the future. If I were you, I would enjoy being not in a relationship. And like candles, watch movies, learn to enjoy you again. I like that. I mean, same. <clears throat> I like that idea. Hey, Alex. But like, also work on yourself. That one. That's that's a big thing. For everybody. No, I have no foundation on. I don't know what it is. I think it's, um... What did I do to my skin today? I've been using almond oil in my moisturizers, but I've been using that aloe face wash. It's so good. Is it? That glitter's <sighs> really selling me on it. Sorry, the leftover glitter's really selling me on this face wash. Must have done a great job getting all the... Mm, Jamie, just message me and um, <sighs> I'll just give you my address. Oh god, every time. Let's go. <sighs> Honestly... What? Honestly, a mood. By the way, a I'm kind mood. of afraid to like meet men now. I feel oh like. Oh my god! Can you just like take some time to work on yourself, please? You don't need to be with someone. You were without BB for like a year. Was it a year? Was it a full year between BB and old mate? I think so. I mean, 
to be fair, that wasn't a great time either, but like you just go go put some effort in and work on yourself before trying to drag someone else into your life. Go meet someone else like that. Lucy, very well said. I think yes. the most unhealthy thing I could do right now is get in another relationship with somebody. I haven't even processed this one, like, at all. Because you're still wet. You're still connected to this person. Like, no. get out of town. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, Angela, I haven't checked my email yet. <laughs> Is that a good idea, Lottie? Just mute her for the rest of the stream. <laughs> Are we pretending the therapist is actually real? Look, you, you got to find your own truth. Oh. Personally, I don't think the therapist exists, but I think the therapist existed for the introductory session and maybe the first or second one. Um, but we saw pretty evidently her, like, struggling with a lot of heavier topics, allegedly, with the therapist. And so, for me seeing Ch like Chantel does not like discomfort Ch Chantel will do everything to avoid being uncomfortable in whatever situation um so I can't imagine she's working through a lot with her therapist but she'll tell us otherwise and ultimately it doesn't matter like either way if she is seeing them if she's not I don't I don't think I'm not seeing any like active discussion from her around it apart from yeah my my therapist says that it's fine to like, my therapist is happy that I have YouTube to focus on and is fine with me seeing an old mate and we're all sitting here gobsmacked being like, but you have, like, if they exist, are you telling them the truth? Because if you are, that advice seems wrong, but it's been sure. Only years are Who are we? I know it's not optimistic. Mm. Yeah, some Owens, that's a good idea. See ya, Ursa Nate. Have a good one. Facebook is going to get people liking your post. Oh, yeah, Peach Piss. You're right. Facebook is not a good option for, like, Oh, people. Lottie, thank you very much for providing context. So she had the emergency therapist appointment on Thursday, but that's been rescheduled for Tuesday. The aunt paid for that. Wild. Thank you for the, for the clarification. I appreciate that. And apparently it's been rescheduled for this Tuesday. So everybody, mark your calendars. Because so, you, can, you can only have 5,000 followers on Facebook, unless you're a public page. And, like, fucking Facebook is so, like... 2000 and what <laughs> like it's you know oh, 2000 TGMR, late TGMR, is the phrase you're looking for mm. you're wasting your time on him casey you're right that's why i don't want to waste any more time on somebody who doesn't um who's somebody who treats me so poorly and who just is just like so abusive and so and i don't just mean i don't mean like it, abusive doesn't have to be hitting abusive it can be just the way they make you feel like by how they they treat you you know abusive in every way yet yeah, we remember we were there <clears throat> and surprised that you continued to return because it doesn't make any sense Apparently punished. I like, felt bad. I felt bad. Like it felt. <sighs> Ugh. Anyways, I just. I like to see the good in people. I don't know. That's optimistic. You are deluded. Sorry, that was blunt. You. That is delusion. That is not optimism. There is a difference. Date new men? No, that would be so unhealthy. This chair is never going to break, is it? Oh. Don't hold your breath. Because it might. What was that? Okay, Detective Pulpy needs to calm down, but... This chair is never going to break, is it? Knock on wood. What's that? What's that that's almost perfectly in frame and definitely something that wasn't staged there to be a focus of the camera? What's that? Is that government weeds? Or is that something else? I don't know what that is. What's that? What? Don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two. Don't be his friend. No. Two. Don't let him in. Please listen to the lyrics. You'll have to kick him out again. Go dancing? I thought I'm joining my purse. Yay! Must have fallen out of the pre-roll package. I think it was the government weed. <laughs> the cook says it's Canada uh, Canadian weed. Called it! <laughs> I can blow my nose in a while. 
Well, you see, let me talk to get up. Ariana, hello. Thank you so much for being here. How much do I weigh midday? Probably a lot. Why do Watch why? how much weight you can gain in like. It was 336, watch. 341. Body weight is 336.8. Nope. Oh, okay. Body weight is 336.8. Woo! I'm so skinny. Even if it's self deprecating, I don't like it. <laughs> what? Go pick up the phone. You know we don't have to be drunk in a long time. Yeah. Lucy, I agree. I wish we could get a self care there. health minute, guys. journey instead of all of this. Agreed. I have to light it on the stone. We could do this not on camera, though. Yeah. You were just off screen. You don't have to, like. Alright punish your audience like this but okay yeah great you almost become numb to it and then it's just right there you know did i like do something really bad by talking about him online oh my god just stop talking about him take all of this offline that's the suggestion you need to listen like i mean to. like look at my comment i need to know what I mean, like, from a legal standpoint or anything. Sorry, my nose is... We'll comment. Yeah, see, Bison, I'm, I'm less invested in the number on the scale because ultimately it doesn't <laughs> matter currently. Like, she's not doing anything to... A, like to assist in weight loss which I think is what her focus is but, like she's not actually actively doing anything there's a better conversation to be had around the general health right I don't know aren't lawyers like you don't have to pay them right away unless you, they win or something not all lawyers but sure I don't know um, yes Casey thanks Lottie the audit is green lean <laughs> the lip smackers missy is sugar plum snow it's very good good kissing gloss and i have candy icicles and peach blizzard wow i'm not even kidding Maybe not straight for hours, but making out we did for like a couple hours once. Huh? Oh, <clears throat> tea. A British impersonation came from him. What the? Reminds me of the '90s. Krusty Starfish. He said y'all don't kiss. Excuse me. Give me a break. Kiss for hours sometimes. He's such a fucking liar. Uh huh. I love the glossier bombs. Mm hmm. Lip smackers are the best. Chan, I asked. Again, both of them are liars. So where I that think. British impersonation came from and what the quotes are from. So it's from a show called Unsolved Mysteries. Like the old Unsolved Mysteries? Uh, skip, skip, if she does the thing. He's probably the most... Probably probably the most narcissistic person I know. I don't know too many, like, real narcissistic people. I don't... I can't be around people like that. Like, they give me... I don't know, like, my body rejects him. Like, I get anxiety. I can't be around him more than, like, two, more than two days without us fighting. Like, you guys have seen... Then why did you go back? Seen that. So... <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Like, I mean, in my head, like masochism is just popping up like continuously putting yourself in this situation coming online and complaining about it and i don't actually think it's back at, uh, masochism sorry i think it's just she reaps the benefits from being in shitty situations like and have sex blah. like do you at this point do you believe anything that comes out of his mouth i don't <laughs> i really don't believe a single fucking thing i he he makes you like Question your own fucking reality. Your own. I don't believe either of them, but when Foodie, sorry, when Old Mate speaks on something and then Foodie clarifies it, then I feel like we get a little bit closer to the objective truth because sometimes it's like somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah, don't believe anything. Sanity, like. Don't believe anything. It's the internet. Don't believe it. Really, Miss Holly K? You did have, I have to watch it. Soil vampires. Morning, sinful. They make you crazy. Oh. Take care of the little what one. Hickeys? It's good to see you. I have hickeys. Where? I don't. These are pimples. 
<laughs> I need to go fucking wash my face. All right. Team, we've um, got an hour left. Let's go. It's a marathon right, today. A plan. We need to reclaim my laundry. I am on fire. Wash and sort all my laundry. And. Hey, natural. Oh, on the chest. My right eye looks bruised. Just make up. You only believe BBJ and sometimes Sam? I was raised by a narc and then married one. Oh no. I really keep praising insecure women for a reason because he's not a good man. And he gets so mad when people say that. Like so mad. Great. Um, I don't know. You could you could not like actively antagonize someone that you've cried about being dangerous on live stream to your audience consistently. Just an idea, but we're not compatible. <laughs> Is that an understatement or what? Holy shit! Oh my god. Not compatible with anybody. She like, and she gets surprised that people aren't sympathetic to her plights. So many times, so many times. Ooh. It's okay. I feel weird because I do talk so casually as if this is just a normal relationship. It's really not. It's like and just me still being in denial, I guess. I need to just really fully realize that this was... Uh, it might not be denial. You might be trying to normalize it to yourself or talk yourself into it being like a totally natural thing to be gone through. But um, A very toxic, abusive relationship. Who knows? Yes, it is. I need to just start healing from it right now. You need to stop going back. That's the first thing. My mom is an art. I will find my lobster one day. <laughs> Was that from that movie, The Lobster? We don't have roaches. Actually, I saw a roach on his wall. No, it's not mine. There's no roaches here. Your super chat, Dandy. Skipping. In case anything happens, because he knows he was wrong. <clears throat> no worries, Mandy. Have a good one. Ouija and Beaners. Uh, yeah, he hasn't been here in forever. So... I was just like, nope, you're not coming over ever. Like, after you talk that way about Pete's, I'm going to let you in his house. Are you fucking crazy? Then why did you go back to him after he spoke that way about Pete's? Like, that doesn't make a lick of sense either. Nothing makes no. sense. <sighs> well, yeah, he lives here too, Chi Chi. Right? His name on the lease, yeah. We will ride if he's around beats. <laughs> Good morning, Fissy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do need to journal some more. <laughs> For my ruined credit. Should we talk about something better? Yes, we can. Yeah, let's do the Ouija board. We can do that at night when it's scary. Rosemary's baby mama. I want to come back and support you, but you have to take the trash out and mean it. Aw, Rosemary's baby mama. Oh, I God. Now she's reliant on her audience to convince her. Oh, blah, yuck. Through monetary gain. Blech. Oh. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I Do just you? keep repeating the negative shit in my head. Took my keys. I missed my fucking therapy. Gifted therapy. Um, his live stream where he just blatantly lied. And You know what she should do? She should take all of this and make just like a two minute video that she could just watch. Because she refuses to watch her live streams. So maybe she could just watch a compilation of all of this. Talk so hor horribly. Like I, I saw no love in, in any of his words he doesn't love you no. he, he has used you and he doesn't care for you oh. Has to be over. sure day, day soon what's the date today he's been doing this so what's new i don't know i guess what's new is i finally am seeing the light you don't mean it be doubtful yep i do no. actually i if i just let go there's like so much benefit for me is there, but there's so much benefit if you stay. Like, that's a really cynical thought, but also we've been through this ringer so many times. It is the girl who cried, cried wolf. Not for him, but for me. Really, think about it. Like, you, you have literally sat on camera and convinced your audience all of his good points that are reasons for you to return. Why, like, that? that's the reason why your audience calls you out on this. Because yeah. you just twist it. You keep twisting it. <laughs> that dog in reverse. He brought up that BB <laughs> just to... <laughs> mental walking away was the best thing I ever did for my mental health. My mental health, I'm sure you guys have seen have seen some kind of decline, right? Like Not a professional, but Um 
He'll love bomb you and lay it on thick. Nobody knows me like you do, etc. <sighs> that psychological warfare. Girl, we all know it would be better for you. You don't. I don't, apparently, we baby. I, I mean. But now? Swamp as. <laughs> no, it's. Skip. In bed, and you have sex like more than five or six times. <laughs> it's basically dead doggy level is time to go in friggin oh my god i don't need to hear about their sex at all <laughs> let's just all shut up now no one does please do <laughs> brain atrophy what yes describe it <laughs> oh my god calissa oh my good god swamp ass <laughs> You're done, log off the internet. Skip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Santiago, that sounds fabulous. How many times have I made my audience go, ew, gross, yuck? Jean's next video. I haven't seen Jean. I don't have any free. I'm not getting any sex, so. Great. We don't. Chantal, guess what? Your YouTube audience doesn't need to hear about your sex life. It's fine. Sex, but how much actual daily activity do I have to do to make up for it? You have a Fitbit. I know you do. Go do steps. Can someone tell me, please? Go walk for an hour a day. Please. Feel free. If you're actively, like, engaging in your own mobility. A great question. <laughs> it's Friday night. I'm all alone. Party! Nothing. <laughs> Dead doggy is nothing. I don't know, Chi Chi, maybe. But if I'm feeling alone, you also aren't at the chance of being worthless. Hey, Carla. Yeah, fuck. We know we're none of those things. Un like worthless? No. <clears throat> Which brother's the hot one? Yeah, the one in Greece is hot, but the other one. Oh, we're back to talking about old man, and now his family. Egypt still. There's another, no, there's another one. I like his other brother better than <laughs> like just by looks. <clears throat> Great. You know, exhaustion. I took a bite of that hoagie and did the rip away thing. I got jump scared. <laughs> oh, exhaustion. I know I have to unblock your other account still. Yeah, he's a mutual friend. No, I haven't, Danny. His brother's not about me. <laughs> okay, chat. I need to step away for like 30 seconds. I'll leave you with Chair Vonda <laughs> and Chantal. Shut up. I'm a real man. It's childish. It is childish. It is. I hate it. I hate this relationship when it's like, ah, oh, it's, it is very childish. I hate this shit. Trust me. What do you want to talk about, EG? What can we talk about? Should we go go to my room and like start doing my room nice? I don't know, am I tired or no? I'm just fucking lazy. Ron Jacobs, let me know if you need help with this guy. My family has a lot for him and we represent a lot. Well, that was rude. That was very rude to autistic shame Ron Jacobs. Uh, go to your room. Alexander, welcome to Grand Park Beach, Beach, Beach. <clears throat> Go to my room with Luigi? No. Why would any, why would there be ghosts in there? The KFC, ghost of KFC past? <laughs> the Lakma. The spirit of the Lakma. Come forth now. I have returned. What did I miss? <laughs> mm. It didn't go out. I'm so lucky. Natural, I am very burnt today, yes. <laughs> Ready, set, bees. Light some candles and do Ouija. I have to set the stage. Oh, Che Vondo was very entertaining. Glad to hear. Hey, Rose. Oh, nice. Congrats. Who said I'm a real man? He said that? I'm a real man. 
I can't draw. Dead doggy is not. I missed nothing okay. interesting. Excellent. Thanks, <laughs> Emily. <laughs> Appreciate it. I need something to write on. Maybe a hello fresh paper. Oh, Holly, thank Andy, you. How do you get your eyebrows like that? The shoulders I are no very also, red. Stop calling it a relationship. It feels like a hostage. And the neck. <laughs> thank you, Emily. It's a little um, painful. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really have to really shape my eyebrows very much because I just have that's just like the natural shape. Like they get some hair here if they get bushy, but um, I just have good eyebrows. <laughs> Even when I was born, my mom said I had good eyebrows. So I don't mean to sound conceited, <laughs> but you could always just get them shaped like how you want. You know yeah. what? Embrace your bushy effing eyebrows. Who cares, man? They don't have to look like they don't have to have arches or who cares. Yeah, wear them how you want. Eyebrows are just fine. <laughs> Face down, starfish. <laughs> Skipping ahead, team. I'm losing patience <laughs> with her. Oh, Terry, we have an aloe plant. Yes. Oh, <coughs> Anyways, can't be with somebody that intense about everything. Like, you see how intense he is over fucking honey or syrup. Like, every little fucking thing. I'm just like, I need to go for a drive. And Why do you keep going back? He's like, no. Puke. What the hell? I don't like puke. Welcome to report me to puke for some things. Poor pork cream? Interesting. Maybe I'll give that an approach. So Maybe not a hot I barely, shower. like, hung up with Shannon. Like, what does deep heat on sunburn feel like? Probably not good. Don't try that. Ever. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Hazard. His <laughs> <laughs> eyes were popping out of his head on your throat. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, real man? Your question is not adding up. You, oh, you sent a message? Okay, I will, Jackie and Elena. <laughs> well, like I said, I guess I'm trying to just ease the situation, booty hole. Gosh, Dan, booty hole. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Do not do that, you will taste fire. Or regular regular no fries are better though, no? <laughs> Order puts in. Uh. Yeah, mate, you went for 40 more minutes. Madsen after Chantal this. and Judge Judy. Oh god, I would love to see Judge Judy fucking lay the hammer down. I would love to see an interaction between Judge Judy and Chantal. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, he would be screaming back at her. No, I oh. want... I... <laughs> Judge Judy, Chantal Marie, and old mate. <laughs> Fighting over custody of the TV. <laughs> I want to go to a lie detector test. That would be amazing. <laughs> Incredible beauty! Hey. I know. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't live stream when I'm streaming. <clears throat> yes, I'm serious. Get me on Judge Joe Brown. Judge Judy would eat Joe Brown. both. <laughs> I'm telling Maury. Only fans is a flop right now. One, Your gut tells you no. no. And two, just no, don't. It just sucks. It sucks because periodically I miss him, you know, but then I just think of all the horrible shit. <clears throat> and I just don't, I don't want, I can't do this to myself anymore and to like people who love me. And I just, I want to be, I want to do better. I want to be better. I want to be better for myself. I want to see like what these possibilities <laughs> I'm being told or just, you know, you just have to hold on a bit longer. It's not about holding on a bit longer. It's it gets better, but it takes work. Like it being life. I look really dead. Thank you. You're right, Peach Piss. He believes his lies. He, I swear. So do you. You you believe you'll you. Again, we are not defending anyone, but they are both trash. Why is your life doing this? Exactly. Waste my life for what? Somebody who doesn't even fucking appreciate it. 
Somebody who tells me I have to be back there at two and screams at me if I'm not. Is that really the biggest takeaway from your interactions with old mate ever is that he keeps you to a schedule? There are so many worse things to take away. That is not it. I mean, it's it's also it, the overbearing and controlling it. But, like, we have other examples that are objectively worse. Is spousal abuse is entertaining? No, Angel, I don't at all. I don't. I think maybe, like, it might look that way because, well, I'm, like, here to entertain you guys and I'm talking, being so serious about my life and, I don't know. I think I don't fully understand the severity of the situation. Well, yeah, I mean, that's hard when you don't center yourself in the actual reality of the situation. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. I'm just, like, in denial. I don't know. Yes, you are. Or delusion. Or both. Hell. Pick a word, any word. Wait, blood work, I didn't get any results. Blood work, you didn't get any results. Okay. Did you actually go for blood work? And did you actually go for a follow-up on the gonorrhea? Because you told us you did, but I think that's a lie. Do you know why I think that's a lie? Because we were literally in her purse for that first test. She, she can't do anything without the chat knowing, so... Do you think she's actually doing anything behind the scenes and not telling her audience about it? No. Mm -hmm. Most colored glasses, yeah. Yes, that's right, Holly. Connie asks how she missed her therapy. I mean, I imagine it's the same way she missed every other appointment, by just not attending. The cats are fine. So hope you're healthy. Thank you. Well, like, yes. Hi, Queen Cheeseburgers! No. Get me. <laughs> Your foster cat hasn't had her kitten yet? Are they due? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I love the. It can be accountable beauty. I just don't feel like it. I've been enjoying falling asleep on the couch with the fireplace and like a movie on or something. Is her mattress back upstairs? <clears throat> and since I don't have a thirty-two inch in my room anymore, I can't do that in my room. So. They made you a burger ornament, plain cheeseburgers. That's so Skip. cute. Skip. To do again. Fuck that. Screw that noise. Just a yes. She, she, I think she'll be forever be in, I think she'll forever be in members only streams, probably until, I don't know, maybe if her numbers take a significant drop, but yeah, I don't, she's got no reason to be in open chat for her. No. Again, that's avoidance of reality, but... Like, food anymore. Whatever. You guys still want the misery video? No. He always saying he has many other girls to take my place. Yeah, I know. And I... You know what? I don't doubt it. Great. Puke, how do I cancel my membership? Move on. Puke! I don't know. <laughs> KC, sir. Hello. What is that face? Hi. Put the chubby block finger away. Oh. I know, Space Ghost. Hey. I saw a lot of sun today. It was worth it. It was worth it. Just, um... <laughs> what? No. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> you did not say he makes 8000 a month. <laughs> you fucking liars. He said he makes seven to 8000 a month. That clip's been making the rounds. Come on. You want the misery video? Or... Hi, sweetie. Hi. 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 Here comes BBJ guy. <clears throat> he said he used to make that, right? Yeah. Back rent, no more money, no more energy, no more nothing is going on him. Oh, that's enough. I will believe that nothing else is going on with old mate when she stops talking about him. All for what? Like, to be berated and yelled at every day? <laughs> Hi. 
Where is he? Catbird. Where is he? I'm getting 550 eggplants tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, wait. First. Sweetie. First. There's no treats here, sweetie. Okay, just get down while I eat. Thank you. So, first we have to get eggplants. I did see a clip of one of James. I think it was James's content. It might have been one of hers. Pete's James was saying, oh, it's fine to have the cats up on the counter. Um, we don't eat, eat off it that often. And I was instantly taken back to when she had, like, the chicken tenders just sitting on the the dirty bench. <laughs> Back to this. Excuse me. Who should share this call? Yeah, we're hey, eating Lucy. We should coffee bees first thing tomorrow. Stay in line and we can help you stay away. <laughs> God, that is not yeah. the duty of your audience to keep you away from old mate. Oh my God, that's so gross. That's so gross. What is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this reliance on the audience? So messed up. Oh. It doesn't matter how it's leaked. What matters is he is the one who has sole possession of the video. Meaning if they got leaked, he at some point sent it. If he deletes it from his phone, oh, how, is, how are they going to prove that? MG, would you ever be down to play a party game or do a party game live stream or vlog? Am I healthy energy on the channel stay positive? Yes. Yeah, I want to do like, I got to keep my mind busy. Hey, Marie. But for real. You know what they can check? The oh, the that's chair. right. It was her live and BBJ was sick on the counter. Yeet. Thank you for the reminder. That's right. Oh, this week he's making me worry. We're going to make this a 911 episode. Ready, sir? Repeat. It's always squeaky. It's okay. Let's talk. Anyways, it's fine. I swear I'm like an Acme character. I fell. One time I broke a kitchen chair. A wood one. An Acme character? And er, I hit my head, dented the metal garbage can at my house. Ooh. And I was fine. Oh. Yeah, time to find myself. I thought... Time to find yourself. Find myself. I found myself. Oh. Why did I heat it up in this container? Seriously. Do you know what's interesting? I find myself asking whether or not if Foodie were take, to take herself seriously on a health journey again and present it in a fashion that she had done previously, would I be invested in that? I'd be interested because I'm morbidly curious, but... Would I be invested in that, or would Cynical Zach sit here and say, this is not real? And love to be proven wrong. Hmm. It's a battle of optimism versus pessimism there. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't trust her with anything. So no, even if we did get a health journey day one tomorrow, I would be very cynical. You got it, I'm starving! Mostly because I, I would be less cynical if she did a lead up to it, if she introduced a lot of talking points, not in the nonsense way that she does here, but if she actually, like, showed some semblance of growth in the lead-up, but I'd still be very cynical. I'm hungry, you goalies. I know, I know it's ironic that I asked what this question while today? she's making more what are we doing tomorrow again? food, but... We are going to make... What are we making? Pasta? Is this more pasta? Wait in the leftovers. Leftovers. The chair pasta. is a true champ. No, I didn't buy him an iPad. What? He has an iPad? Wasn't for me. He's probably I'm just also remembering now Foodie saying that old mate was gonna pay her back for stuff from the old like from the I wonder if that's gonna happen, because again, payday's like in, in a day or two's time. Pretending to have a sugar mama. Or there's like these women who offer to pay to have sex with him, he says, I don't know. Weirdo. Okay, but foodie, maybe don't diminish that idea because you presented that idea around yourself this this week? Maybe last week, this week, sometime, right? <laughs> it, to paraphrase, if I were if I were paying for a partner or if I paid for a partner, I'd expect them to be loyal, something along those lines. So, uh, yeah. You are way more talented in all aspects, and he gives you no credit for anything. He doesn't get that the only, like, he'll be like, oh, my video only has 9,000 views. Like, your video buddy would have zero fucking views if 
people didn't go and click it just to read the comments and then talking shit about you. I mean, it's a it's a good point. But to be fair, like it's a it's a business decision, right? Chantel, I think, has suffered in the past, in the recent past, with turning her comments off. And I mean, that's why we have the comments turned back on, right? Are the comments on on this one? Oh, it's loaded from a live, so I couldn't tell you. I'll like, check people are not coming for your fucking kanafa. Maybe a few people, but... Anyway, yeah, I'm stupid. I edited all this video. Yeah, and stop I doing that. that. The whole time, we're fucking filming almost. Well, not the whole time. Did Pete get his 200 fears? He's getting like a thousand. <laughs> Can we go back to being funny? Comments are back on. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're out of shaky cheese. No, I have some light shaky cheese in the fridge. Oh, wow. I didn't know they made light and full fat shaky cheese because... I'm not eight, but okay. Light. Sorry, I stopped eating like this craft shaky parmesan cheese when I was a kid. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and go finish. This meal reminds me of a childhood meal. Candyman after. Uh huh. This orange pasta. Mm. Mm hmm. Delicious. What do you mean, EG? Can you really taste that balsamic that's hidden in there with the lime? Yeah, it's the new Candyman. She's been deleting them pretty heavily, says Lottie. Mm. Makes sense. But that's the thing. With comments on, you get more engagement. You get more click-through. That's just how that works. How many sodas have I had today? This is four, right? I need to exercise. Jesus, four? That's... How many of those things? They're like 150... Cal is it 150 calories, 30 grams of sugar? Is that right? Maybe it's more... I'll look it up. This was last month before his channel. I don't know. I thought he just. I thought he was just like. Sorry, two hundred and seventy, not one fifty. It was like a thousand total or something. Hmm, Dr. Elena. <laughs> oh, sorry, and it's not thirty grams of carbohydrates. It's seventy-two grams of carb. Oh no, that's a big one. That's a twenty ounce. Okay, so maybe it is about half for the can. I don't know. <laughs> I know that it's just sugar, water, and not great for an unmanaged diabetic. Diabetes, <laughs> Diabetes December? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> How about managed Diabetes December? I'd be on board for that one. Exactly. Oh, just a, I'm the same. I can drink like two liters of sparkling water in the blink of an eye, but buying whose food, Casey? But changing from changing from like full fat sodas to sugar free versions, I found much better. And I understand there's an argument about like the the brain's receptors to artificial sweeteners, particularly, and how like if if your brain's saying, hey. This tastes like you're getting carbs and you're not actually getting carbs. It can do something up there. Again, not a professional, but um, the argument is just to like get rid of flavored well, soda style beverages in general. So I don't know, introduce some lime or lemon or something to your uh, to your soda water. Delicious. Pete's or uh, matter. It's a heap of sugar. So she's had four of those. So just tablespoons of sugar today. I'm sure the pancreas loves it. Well, maybe he was, EG. Maybe we don't have to tell you all our business. Who was your sexiest ex-boyfriend? Lottie, I think she... I think I can definitively say she eats more carbohydrates in a day than I do in a week. I've never dated anybody, like, sexy. Like... Have you found them sexy? So he hadn't... Is dating someone for you... Is 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 you thinking they're sexy a requirement for you? I mean, didn't she introduce Old Maid as so hot, you guys? Huh. He had a... No, seriously, did he have a, a tablet? Because that wasn't mine. That wasn't from me. 
No, he didn't. He said his lung was going to die. Oh. Okay, EG's right. Let's talk about something else. It says it can also affect your blood sugar with artificial sweeteners, especially with diabetes and low blood sugar. Your body prepares for the carbs and sugar and produces insulin. I thought so, Lynn. Thank you for clarifying. What I put in the spaghetti? I made a sauce with, like, chicken and... God. Chat who remembers what's in the spaghetti. We had chicken and onion. Then we had garlic powder, Cajun spice, Italian seasoning, basil. The chicken was done in a in a spice and lime marinade. There was a jar sauce, pepper, pasta. I think that was it. Garbage sauce. The, the tomato sauce and stuff. I'm sure he has been asked in his last stream. <clears throat> Yes. He wasn't oh, him. and shaky cheese went in the sauce. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get anyone a freaking iPad. Okay. I was going to. Were you? Things went well. We were in a relationship. Why you? Why you? Why? Why? It's nice to gift people things. Do not buy someone's love. Miss. I was gonna get one for us to like use for live streams, but Were you? Why would it why would it be for him? Why wouldn't it be yours? Why are you doing this? Silly. Amber Nicole, that's not true. <laughs> oh, balsamic vinegar! Thank you, Apoca. I knew I'd forgotten something. I wish. Pasta a la trash, Ariana, perfectly said yes. <laughs> Yes. Don't worry about Pete's. Well, Jen, he does have two phones. She's admitted to that. She said he has his and the one that she gave him. Right? Pete's is just fine. <laughs> Hi, Pink Pony Club. Yeah. Anyway. Do you know what I'm surprised by the bowl and cutlery to be fair i ate too much did you i know the feeling <laughs> i don't know how long i'm gonna be live for pink pony club because i've had a lot of sativa today no Sorry, chat, help me understand that. You've had a... Does sativa make you... Oh, yes, no, well... Makes you sleepy, right? I think, uh... I'm just or a chill? little tired. Oh, okay, whatever. Who knows? Emotionally drained, exhausted, and... Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baked. That one. Full. Okay. So nice. it's a carb coma. Yeah. Oh, sativa is less sleepy. Interesting. Thanks, Jenna. Chew with my mouth over. Milk tea, lovely to see you today. <laughs> oh, Indica is for sleepy, thank you. Hellfire, thank you, I appreciate it. You can see a woman's feet in the background of his live. What? You're lying. God, you know she's she went and checked that straight after this. Sativa gives you the energy. Indica is a sleepy one. Okay. I am getting redder, <laughs> Louisa. It's also because the sun's gone down, so the lighting in the room's changed. It's picking up more red. She's just glaring at us now. I guess I can't care because. But it's talking about. Okay. I mean, Tiffany. I shouldn't be surprised. This. This roomie is a guy. I thought his roomie was a girl. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, purple mermaid. Uh, 
I don't know. I think he... I don't know. Don't forget laughter as well, Lottie. No. Oh, okay, Amber. <laughs> One time he had a mascara. He's like, is this yours? And I'm like, no. That's not my mascara. Oh. Oh my god, do you mean he could have potentially cheated on you? What a surprise. Oh wait, wait you told us that. Oh wait, that? gonorrhea. On my stairs outside. Oh, Angie, it sucks I'm so bad that the person... Very something. I like completely idealized him as somebody he wasn't even... Didn't even matter. Hmm... <sighs> this is chat yeah. 1.5 by the way if you want do you want a dose of reality bias. here i feel like we all deserve i had this. like five sodas today uh-huh did you that was a choice Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Lauren, I don't know. Just minutes. <laughs> voluntarily sat through that. <laughs> I'm sorry to all of you who did. And I'm sorry for forcing those of you to live it again, but just... <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Put it back to normal? Oh, okay. up in my head. Fixing it, pack. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gingerbread Mountain Dew. Yeah, Indy. When we, when we take the speed down, it is very apparent. <laughs> I'm sitting here miserable, depressed, my life is fucked, okay. and he's probably already screwing some dirty bitch Pro and, giving, and, and giving himself another STD. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to say dirty bitch, but... I'm glad you recognize that, Chantel. It's the, it's the dirty bastard old mate that you should really be zeroing in on here. Get him out of your life. Disconnect. Cut the cord. Move on. Don't blame other people for old mates. Shitty shit, shit, shit. He's the worst. He's the absolute worst. Stop forgiving him for his misdeeds. Stop laying blame on other people for his shitty shit. Stop it. It's not going to help you. So what? I'm done with three nail paintings. I'm not gonna bring burger to the piece. <laughs> what? A burger with no patty? That's so stupid. I would be livid. Yeah, I just don't Sorry, understand. Keep... After her sitting here hours, legitimately hours, it's probably days now. Days. Weeks. Months of fully acknowledging this old mate's toxic, gross, manipulative, controlling, abusive behaviour and normalising it and forgiving it and still finding a way to blame other people for him. Oh, I hate it so much. Yeah, Mara, I'm going to go to bed soon, too. Good. Are you going to go back to him tomorrow? I'm just feeling really bad. I wouldn't me. be surprised. Sad. I can hate that I ever met him. So. 
Oh, uh, sorry, I'm gonna call out. Anyways, guys. Anyways. anyways. I wanna finish the movie. It's kind of good. Quit flesh. I am. And go to bed, get some sleep. And BBJ wants to cuddle. Don't you, BBJ? I had three layers she on sleeps today. On me. But She's not sleeping enough. like almost the whole time I'm on the couch. Cheer up, yeah. BBJ. BB oh, sorry, BBJ. So we can start B. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over, and if you think it over, baby, you'll be coming over again. Enough to get over you all over again. Katy Perry, queen. Please, save your cheers for BBJ. And. Skip. Hey, booty hole. Still skipping. It's. Until I'm, like, if I ever want to talk about something in a video or something like that, addressing things down the line, uh, maybe, but I really want to just do me tomorrow and Great. <clears throat> plan some, what I'm, direction I'm going to take in my life now. I'm here for a plan. Here for follow through, but here maybe for a plan. small. Okay, can you not put your ass right in my face? All right, guys, please don't go. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed soon, actually. No, no, please go to bed. Go to bed. Like, if you don't like people, if you're watching this matter, if you don't want people to talk shit about you, don't treat them like shit, okay? If you don't want people to talk shit about you, don't present yourself on a public platform. It's just, just, it's just what that is. You lessen the likelihood of people talking shit about you if you're not present on a public platform. If you keep your private life private, but even off public platform, the more you expose your private life to the general population, the more chance there is that people will talk about it. Because lizard brains and gossip, and that's a really interesting topic. <sighs> All right, I gotta go. Hmm. BBJ, she's eating her food. I'm, I'm happy that the cats are happy. They seem more like chill out here. No, I would have already been back there tonight, and I don't have any, any desire remote desire right now to do put myself in that position again did you bring your CPAP home i pro i even like i was sitting on the edge of the bed and i was like if oh fuck. i just wanted to be in my car so bad and i just kept picturing the long road and i'm like uh, i'm not going back there but then when i got home i was thinking i'm gonna go back so i was trying to rush and i'm like uh i said what between one and two maybe impatient is the is the answer not having to worry about someone's timeline or them giving you shit for being late for having to do a few things I, I don't even know what the big deal is not like we had fucking a busy schedule to do anything like just lay in bed and have sex or do laundry or like you know what i mean like i, I don't see what the big urgency is he's controlling and manipulative and the less time you spend in his presence the more potential you have to escape that and i don't understand how you are not seeing entrapment Because all of us can see it, and girl, could just wake up. I just I can't live my life that way. I can't be with someone like that. Lottie has clarified to say the CPAP is with shut off. Fabulous. TikTok. Someone text Pete to hide her car keys. Yeah, no, that's horrible to do. Anyway, all right, guys. So seriously, I, I can't. I, I I need a break about talking about this about being in this for right now i don't know just her break is going to be her nap we need to completely just we'll talk about this tomorrow right danielle My hello way. good night and i just want to do something productive tomorrow yes work okay do we just no i didn't accountable beauty <laughs> Entrapment was an interesting movie, Jen. Yes, You'll definitely agreed. have more money without buying his love. Oh yeah, for sure. You love when I wear makeup? I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, the glitter would yeah, argue you do, but... No, he was before you even met him. Shady. No, I, like I said, I think I idealized him as a person this whole time. Not this whole time, because you've sat on stream and vilified... Sorry, rightfully exposed his shitty behavior. I was about to say vilified, but that would insinuate that the behavior was not correct or was not accurate. 
Um, yeah, no, you have you have told us you you have not been living in a blissful cloud of delusion and ignorance because you have had moments of clarity where you have legitimately argued with your audience about his good and bad. You wouldn't do that if you weren't clear. You you knew you just kept returning, and that's the bit that doesn't make sense. I've done that before with people, and when they turn out to be shit, like just shitty to me, I just. I can't understand why. I feel like I've seen them for the first time, and... Oh my god, you have said that about this guy, like, 14 times as well. Wake up. Anyways, uh, so, I hope you guys have a good sleep. <sighs> I've got to make dinner. So, uh, it's all absolute rubbish. It is, and we're done with you. Chat... <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me get through an entire day of Chantal catching up post beach beason. I appreciate all of you. Thank you all for joining me. If you would like to hit that like button on the way out, I'd appreciate that very much as well. Go out and have a fabulous weekend. I might see you tomorrow. Who knows what the wind blows, but take care of yourself. Go do something productive or either or. For those of you on the rewatch, thank you very much. I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs as always. Have a fabulous day, team, and I'll see you in the next video and or live stream. Bye.